Right, I've won. I've got you here. Right, that should be it. Ready. Should be on. Right. Wait for some comments to come in. I don't know how many people are on. Six. I'll tell you when I can see your comments. Weapons I've said hello. You right, mate? Got myself a nice full cup of coffee. Probably about getting on for nearly a pint in there. That might last me. You right, fall up there. Ear mirror right and all that. Tried to put the laptop as close to the internet as I can this time so it don't cut out again. But although it don't really... It won't ever affect the stream, because the stream is coming from a computer. But uh, it does stop me being able to see the um, comments and that, but it should be all right. Weapon stuff said, yeah, cold's a bit better today. Just had a hot chocolate, was out earlier with the, with the night vision, but it whites out a bit in snow. Oh, that's quite interesting. Next I do the evening, Mike. What's the evening topic? Well, anything at the minute, I will tell you straight away. I never managed to watch them films yet. Um, I was going to tonight before I came on, but I didn't get time. So I'm probably going to watch them tomorrow, and then we'll talk about them next week. Saying about Liam's cold, nice to hear that going. I ain't having a cold. Everyone here's got colds at the minute, but I may, I may have already had it. I don't know. I seem to recently have what felt like a cold. I mean, so I may get lucky. Made sure I got a grey jumper on, so I'm not doing a red door holly again. All right, weapon of stuff. Yeah, the IR light bounces back off all the snow coming down. Fingers got freezing, so I didn't stay out long. Yeah, I suppose when you when you sort of say it like that, makes sense. It would do that, wouldn't it? It would, it would reflect back. Yeah, I've not been out today apart from to put some stuff in the bins. I didn't really fancy it today. You know what I mean? Even then, I had to put a hat on. <laughs> For that player, it's cold today, minus five, which I think is minus 15 C. Yeah, that is cold then. Pete is on, all right, Pete? Next is Hulu. Chemical warfare, lol. For that player, here we only get two months summers. Well, the UK is weird. When I, was, when I was younger, I remember, you know, I'm not that old, I'm only 37. When I was younger, I remember you would have what we would describe as proper winters, where it would always snow in winter. And in summers, you'd have quite a few months of like what you call a proper summer. You know, I remember the whole summer holidays would be hot, really hot, no rain, hardly. You know I mean? Now you get like, sometimes you get like two weeks of decent weather. I say decent weather, but I actually hate the hot weather. I would personally rather be cold all the time. At least you can warm yourself up. But that's me. I, I actually hate it when it's hot. Uh, yeah, we our weathers are weird like that as well. Bushcraft dude. All right, mate. He said, hi, mate. I've spoken to your brother a while ago. Hope you're well. Just wanted to know you've been things going well. I've been out with the community farm. Oh, uh, no. So it's good to see you back then. Yeah, um, yeah things are all good. Uh me and Mark are sort of getting into the channels a bit more sort of thing, you know, like doing the live streams. It's nice being able to do these. Gives an extra element to it. If you wonder what's wrong with my ear, I've got a bit of an earache. Sometimes like, when I cover it up, it stops hurting. Um, yeah, these live streams, I think, bring a totally different element to the um, to the channels. But I find you don't... If you miss one of these live streams, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? You're not really... You're missing out on the community of it, but uh, you're not missing out on anything, you know. But um, I like them a lot. So, yeah, They're good to see you back. Thank you, Julie. West Coast, Scotland. Been trying to snow all day. Temperature dipped again. Longer winters, shorter hot summers. Something I've noticed in more than the past 25 years. Yeah, that's exactly what I was, that's exactly what I was sort of trying to say. And it is like that. And you get strange winters now. We get down here, it always used to snow in the winter. But now you might get a couple of years where there's no snow. 
but it's cold and wet constantly. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, very bizarre. Global warming for you, isn't it? If you believe in it, <laughs> which I do. For that player, here it's wet to cold, which is a thousand times worse than dry cold. It's from the lake effect off Lake Superior, that and the 20,000 lakes in my state. For that player, where are you from then? Are you American or Canadian? Bushcraft dude, I love your videos. I haven't made one since 2006. Glad to see you're still out there. Uh, cheers, mate. Yeah, funny thing is, a lot of people say that because they either go out of the community and then come back or they just haven't watched a lot of videos. And they're surprised to see me and Mark still here after. Well, my on this channel in May will be my 10-year anniversary. I'm hoping to try and get... I might just do it, but I don't know. I'm hoping to get 200 and... Uh, 25,000 subscribers. I want to try and hit that for my 10-year um, anniversary. That would be a nice little celebration. And then I might do like a good giveaway with some proper decent stuff. You know, I've saved, I've saved that stuff over the years, and I might do a good giveaway for all the old viewers. You know what I mean? Doom Slayer, good evening, everyone. All right, mate. Uh, I've got my pint of, um, pint of coffee. Better not drop it on me. Probably not. Bushcraft dude, I still watch a load. I just don't make videos anymore. Ah, oh, right. I still remember the video that you did got me into your channel, the SA Survival video. Ah, oh, nice, yeah. That's still quite a popular video. I've done about three since then of the same thing. Just trying to do a bit better. For that place that I'm American, but I'm basically America's Canada. Yeah, as soon as you said lakes and that, Loads of lakes. That always makes me think of Canada, you know. I'm in Minnesota, but we're more like Canadians than Americans. We also have some crazy accents, actually. Just look up Minnesota accents. Is Minnesota um, Fargo and that? Is that Fargo accent? Pete said, Yo, blood, you know how I can get me a big blap blap gun for? <laughs> yeah, don't start that. Bullfrog. All right, mate. Weapons and stuff. Always amazes me how much you can fit into a swab tin. Yeah, and I reckon I reckon you could fit more. I'm I'm on the lookout for um every time I'm on like gear best and I see tiny little things that would be perfect to put in them. If someone needs to like design a proper one, make the tin ever so slightly bigger, so big enough so you don't really notice it, and have all the stuff pre made into it in compartments and stuff. And have like the bottom already shined up for a mirror, have the sides, where the sides say, um, I've got nothing to show you, but have a little ridge on the top and the bottom that you can wrap paracord around it, and all stuff like that. No one's done that yet, I don't think. Made a proper dedicated, like proper good one. Dedicated one, you know. Doom sir, wish I had some booze for this stream. Oh, uh, this, uh, I'm staying sober tonight. I, I can only drink about once a month, and it ain't quite my, uh, time yet about a week don't say how much oh crap how much did i miss now uh, you've missed about 10 minutes mate nothing we've only just started actually zulu joint venture idea for you and mark same mark girl that you own but with your own ideas on the kit i'll, I'll look into that mate all that player yeah except fargo is north dakota it's on the border fargo is md and morehead is in all right. Yeah, that was just the sort of guess anyway from um from, from watching Fargo basically. Pete said you can get really small fire steels that would be good for a tin. Yeah, that's what I mean. The more I look, the more you find them things. I've just seen Jack Strikers on. <laughs> nice. That's great. Good to see you on, Jack. Nice, that's brilliant. Jason said, I'm much sorry I'm late to the party, but you're okay. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I hope you are, Jason. Yeah, I've only been on for about two minutes. Well, ten minutes, but seems like two. Doomslayer, I thought your metal stove was cool. Ah, cheers, mate. Yeah, I um, I did that on the square at the moment. To be honest, so, um, yeah, it came out all right. Someone did say I may have to um, take the uh, Teflon off a bit, but you know, it, it, it'd be all right. Next ray, Peach, the BCB Ranger, perfect for tins. Bushcraft dude, whilst I'm here, I might as well ask, 
You're into self defense. What do you think of Fab spray? The red spray that is UK legal UK pepper, yeah, pepper spray. I've seen it in your videos, Robert. Well, I like it and it's effective, but the only thing you've got to be aware with that. Hang on, I've got, I've got some. I'll, um, just getting, I'm just going to get one to show you. Anyone who don't know what they are. Now, these aren't pepper spray or anything. These are uh, these are a a gel, a spray paint, like a spray gel marker to mark a um, criminal with. The only thing I've noticed with these, even if they're in your house, the police nearly always want to stop you. Uh, not stop you, but. They found these in Mark's house and they took them and tried to get him done for them because they thought they was pepper spray. And um, I would say guaranteed 100%. If you get caught with one of these on the street, you'll definitely get arrested for it. That's the only thing I could say, really. Eric, out, Outdoor Eric. Right, mate. Tumble, tell boo. Have you ever been to Great Yarmouth, mate? There's at least three shops that sell knives, guns and weapons. Kind of shops that are getting fewer and fewer. Don't think I have. Funny thing is, I I'd, I'd go on holiday with the family, and after time I can't remember where we've been. But I don't. Where is Great Yarmouth? We normally only go um, southeast and southwest. Never really go up, if you know what I mean. Fallout player. Most people around here are MN, come from Slavic countries and Finnish and Norway. Lots of poets around here. And I'm one of them. Oh, nice. Fallout player. Well, my state is bigger than the UK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, amazing, isn't it, really? Bullfrog, do you know if nothing does is like legal to have in your home? No, you can own them in your house, mate. You can have them in your house, fine. That's perfectly fine. Actually, yes, but UK is in a bigger state. Yeah, exactly. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dare to drink a bit more boiling up coffee. <laughs> Weapons and stuff said Norfolk East Coast are ah, right up there. Um, I don't know, might have, but we very rarely go sort of upwards. If you know what I mean, our habit is always southeast, southwest. Come to boot Norfolk from where I am, mate, about thirty miles from me. Bought loads from them. Shops over the last thirty years. Yeah, I used to love them kind of shots. I haven't been to anything like that for years. I got my, my Spaz 12 BB gun was from a gun shop down the coast. My uh, Magnum Dagger was from Brighton, I think. Bournemouth, Brighton. I um, can't remember. You lot might remember it was the place I said it was complete shit off. Sorry if anyone comes from there. <laughs> Bushcraft dude saying hello to uh, weapons and stuff. Pete said, thanks, just got myself a Ranger faster. Bushcraft dude, bullfrog. I'm in as southeast as you can go. Southeast, nice. Yeah. I'm Buckinghamshire. That is left, of, yeah, a bit left of London. Yeah, these ones, what I did with these, these are used ones. Because um, I get a regular visit from the police every couple of years, I drilled a hole in the bottom. Because the problem was, this one had, actually both of them had um, leaked. If you have them just sat around for too long, they'll eventually leak. So beware of that. You may want to put them in a bag. What I did, because I wanted to keep them as like a display thing, drilled a hole in the bottom. So if anyone did see them, they... They can see they're not anything dangerous. I mean, yeah. The police, they may know that they're not pepper spray, but they have to check it. You know what I mean? They can't just go, oh, no, that's um, um, criminal identifier. So just be aware of that. They will definitely take it off you. You'll probably be arrested, and then you'll have to go through a whole, whole load of rigmarole of them uh, wanting to check it and destroying it and, you know. Call out player, you should Google some pictures of Minnesota. The state is really absolutely beautiful. My state provides 
over 70% of America's iron, especially look at the pictures of Duluth and Two Harbors. Actually, I've heard of Duluth, yeah. Remember, so Dover Castle is nearby then. Bullfrog. Yeah, saying like, um, like Bushcraft Drill, I carry mine every day in my pocket and I've never had any problems. No, well, oh, with leakage, yeah. I don't know what it is, but um, both of these were sat about in drawers. They, I'll be honest with you, they've been sat about in drawers for years, though. So maybe, and I mean years and years, like 10 years. So maybe just after that time, the seals are gone. But, um, yeah, they're perfectly legal. And you won't get done for it, but just be prepared. If you was stopped and caught with it, they'll probably arrest you. You know what I mean? Rubbing stuff. Surprised, really, people don't make their own pepper spray and hide it in some other sort of thing. Now, I have heard of people um, thinking of doing that. I wouldn't risk it, personally. You know what I mean? Because of... Um, the effectiveness of it isn't worth the kind of shit you can get in. But yeah. Bushcraft dude, can't you still get rest fat? Oh yeah, you definitely would. Probably, but you might look less threatening than a pepper spray style sweater. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be more likely to sort of get away with it, but you'd get well done for it, you know what I mean? Bushcraft dude. What would you recommend for self-defense? Is fire spray okay for self-defense? As in, is the risk carrying it worth the risk of getting arrested? I've used it before. It seems pretty good. Uh, it's all personal preference, isn't it? Um, at least with that kind of spray, you don't need to get close to anyone. You can blind them. But um, a good torch might be able to do that as well. That I mean, a good torch with a strobe on it shined in someone's eyes if you're going to blind them but then that's not going to work in the daytime is it so you know it's purely personal preference i think that striker i carry five gel on my bike but it's dated 2015. yeah mine leaked in the end jacko 2013 that one was just see it open stuff tabasco hot sauce might do in a pinch yeah, I did. On one of my videos, I saw some woman saying she was going to do it. Uh, carry like a um, sprayer for food. And she said she was going to say it was um, seasoning for her food. You know what I mean? If she was caught. Well, you know, you might get away with it. I wouldn't. Me, personally, I wouldn't risk it. Doomslayer, high looming torches are great for blinding muggers and running away. Exactly. Dumble sale, boo. Millwall brick is much more effective than market spray. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to do a video on that, mate. I've never, ever done a video on it. Um, obviously, people know what they are, you know. Pizza I carry a 1,020 lumen light. I can't remember what mine is now. I think it's about 300 or something. Which do? Do you reckon I'd get arrested for carrying a torch with spikes on it for self-defense? I really don't know. It all depends what the spikes are like. Are they out the front? And it all depends how obvious they are. If they're the ones with really big spikes, possibly. I don't know. R and C, I can't really answer that one. Um, well, no, anyway, no, 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 no. Weapon and stuff, best combination, I reckon, is a tactical pen and a high-power flashlight. Yeah, I think so. They're both totally legal and both do two different things, you know. Fallout plan, a tip from an American here for good self-defense tool that doesn't attract attention. One of those mag lights, ones the cops used to cast. Yeah, exactly. I've got some of them. I've got like a homemade one. Most of mine have been um, modded, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, these are brilliant. Because you, especially if you can get the ones with a pre LED in it or do an upgrade, these will, um, you know, these are good truncheon type things, you know what I mean? So I don't think it's legal to make perhaps. Oh, no, it's definitely not. That brick said hello. All right, mate. Pete said that's what I carry. Jumps over. Odds and rockers apparently used to use coins between their knuckles with a hanky clenched in their hands. Now that's a weird one, isn't it? And interesting. Take a player after St. Paddy's Day. <laughs> Bullfrog. That's my loadout torch and pen. 
of the stuff. Mag likes to do big modern LED ones, but they're quite pricey. Yeah, you still, I did. Get an old, see if you can get hold of an old mag light and put a bloody, <laughs> put a torch in it. That's, I, I'd put that in, that's, that's got, that's two AAA one. And this one takes a 18650 and it's got multiple brightnesses and rechargeable and everything. Not as easy as just saying do it, but, you know. Bushcraft dude, what sort of flashlight would you recommend? I've got through night archer. Not sure how well it'd work in daylight. I think the personally I think the bushcraft um the um through night archer's alright. But you can get slight, some of the slightly bigger ones with the um eighteen six fifties are good. Bushcraft dude, I mean that's not exactly particular to carry a TM forty two all the time. Doom Slayer, there'll be a lot of hangovers tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Depends on how big a flashlight you really want. There are lots of bright, small ones, medium. I'll show you about a good size of a pack that you can get good power in. This is a four fire. So that's the single A Archer one. It's the Archer A1. And that's a four fire. can't remember the model. That takes an 18650, but it'll be a lot brighter. Yeah, mate, I'm fucked. Bullfrog, can you do that with a 3D mag light got camo from Mike Knight? Yeah, I think nearly all the mag lights you can um, get the things to change, but mine I actually put like one of these inside it, but it's the case of a mag light. But, um,. A good torch inside. I know a guy who punched someone with a key in his fist said it put a hole in the voice. Yeah, I imagine that would. Dumble Sabu, yeah, don't bother the Chinese. They have to rent baton torches. I have three, and they're far too light and fragile. Black bricks. Put keys in between your fingers for self defense. All that. Uh, there's tutorials and forums and stuff on how to replace and build them with an LED. Yeah, what I did, I hollowed it out, took all the stuff out. And that, this one, has now pretty much got one of these inside it. All of this is hollow, up to about there, so I can put like a swizzle kit in it, or spare battery. That end comes off, and it's got um, multiple brightnesses, strobe, and it's rechargeable. Lap bricks, uh, JP or a padlock. Bushcraft do people have threatened to jump me and I was wondering. I know you wear a stab vest, but it's not really practical as I'm still in school. That was that was to um weapon stuff. Pete said O light is a very good light company. You can get amazing torches. I think I was saying to um Jack Strike earlier. I was talking about them because of my gun light one. You can get amazing lights nowadays and they're not that dear either. Bushcraft dude, I do boxing and judo, but I want to have an advantage I can at the moment. I can far. Yeah. Best thing to do is try and avoid things in the first place, really, but I know that's not as easy as saying, you know, doing it. Um, personally, I'd say go for 400 lumen flashlight, then after showing it in the eyes, kick the balls and run. Yeah, exactly. Do the best thing for it. This is a homemade mag light, but this would be the same size as a 5 or 6 D cell mag light. But yeah, it'd be like a... <laughs> Jack Strike, a keychain is hard to beat, and there is no way you'll get done. Yeah, that's the best way to think. If you're going to go ways, you know, if you want to think of things like that, you've got to do it legally, basically. You know, otherwise you're sort of breaking the law before you've even done anything, you know, before you've even defended yourself, sort of thing. Born up play, if you want to look for self-defense stuff, I recommend a YouTube channel called Black Scout Survivors. There's lots of urban self-defense tips on there. Bush crapping. All right, bush crapping, all right, mate. Black bricks, the cross stick, would mess someone up. Yeah, you get people with um, Q 
kids are using their skateboards for self-defense. You know what I mean? You've just got to be um, imaginative. You know what I mean? Don't get tired of the bush, grab your padlock on a string or in a sock. Just keep an eye out. X-ray Zulu. Self-defense, small tin links like that. Yeah. Bush grabbing. Big heavy dog leader with a metal thing in the end. The police asked to say you need. Just say you walking a friend's dog. Yeah, that way. Bushcraft dude, I'm talking EDC. If you took back to school, it'd look a bit strange. Well, I've read a police forum saying that 300 lumen not blind and tackle for 15 seconds. Yeah, if you shine them in your eyes, you can't see nothing. Bushcraft dude, fight player, I'll, I'll give it a look. Now, oh, if you mean this, I was just showing that to other people. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rocket said, I went back to... Right, mate, come to have a dog chain lead with a leather wrist strap. Nobody will question somebody walking about with one of those. Just looks like a dog is off the lead. Yeah, exactly. Right. Where is your ideal place to visit? Money is unlimited for travellers. Uh, I don't know. I'm... I'm not really into travelling and that, do you know what I mean? Uh, I've never really, very rarely anywhere I've ever thought I'd like to go. The only, the only place I have, I think China looks interesting. China and Japan, because it's so different to our culture. It looks like a really interesting place to go. I mean, it's bizarre over there. It's completely different to us. Bushcraft Drew said, at Jason... At Jacob Taylor, yeah, I'm into lock picking, so I'll give that a look. Weapon and stuff. I did a video where I tested the dark using my flashlights in my eyes, made my eyes immediately sore, very disorientated, and I couldn't properly see again for a few minutes. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if you've ever been stopped by the police or questioned by the police, but when I was younger, every single time the police would stop us at night, the first thing they would do is stand there doing this. To a gang of teenagers, because we can't see anything then. I mean, and they've got an advantage over you. X ray Zulu, cob lights are extremely bright, ideal flash and dash. Wishcraft dude, I don't usually go out at night, I'm looking for daytime. Not Brits, I'll be back in a minute. All right, mate. Pete said, Japan's ramen noodles look really good. Only thing is, I had some sort of um, noodles today. I can't remember what they were, but they're sort of some, some sort of Chinese noodles. Some said, but I remember back in 1989 when I left school, we used to make throwing stars in metal work, and the teacher didn't give a fuck. You wouldn't get away with that now. No, nah, exactly. No, we used to do things like that. I think I made like a bloody. I was making weapons in the bloody um, woodwork class. Didn't, you know, didn't say anything. Bushcraft dude, obviously I can't carry a knife, so what would you recommend carrying fives for? Hey, I'd say both, personally. Or, uh, yeah, carrying both, they're both. The torch, no one's ever going to say anything about, though. You'll stick out a bit in daytime. That's for shining a torch in your eyes, and sometimes do a check pupil con action in case you're stoned. Jacob Taylor, the bushcraft dude, still take up boots are a good idea. Get kicked by one of them, you know about it. Yeah, exactly. I used to put, we used to put um, glass bottles on the floor and run up and kick them and smash them. Like before they went out, you know, smash it instantly with um, steel take up boots. Ball that player, Black Scout Survival, self defense tools. That's the vid I recommend. I believe most of the stuff is legal in the UK. Which craft do, Jack Data? Never considered them. I used to wear them too. I'll give them a thought. I used to wear steel toe cut boots all the time. I can't be bothered. I've still got them. Still got my Doc Martens under there, but they're um. I just don't like uh wearing them now. I find them too heavy. Rocket, great videos and content. Keep up the good work. Thanks, mate. Yeah, when I was a teen, early twenties, they shine a torch in your eyes to see if you're stoned on weed. Bloodshot eyes, 
and flinch loads and this that stuff. Yeah, they knew I want stone. They knew what we was doing, but um, <laughs> they would just, you know, but it's an advantage. What that's showing them the torch, you know, you can't see anything, you know. Bushcraft dude, seeing a bit. Actually, Julie, really Bushcraft dude, are you the Geordie lad of been on YouTube when you're younger? Extreme Brews. Haven't stuff done a lot, make good cheap steel take up boots. They're not at all heavy. No, the funny thing is, the new ones I got with the um, Patreon funds are, um, they're not steel toe cut, but they're a uh, composite toe cut. But they're, uh, they're really light. Pete said, I used to, I used steel toe cuts of work, almost always have them on. Well, I used to, I used to always wear my Dot Knight steel toe cut boots every single day, all the time. I just can't be bothered with them now. After I started wearing trainers, I couldn't go back to any boots. Extra Zulu, steel tie cups, I thought they were standard. <laughs> yeah. Baker Taylor, I'm a bricklayer, so I wear them all day. Yeah, I've got these now. With a composite. They're so light, you know, they're as light as a trainer. Push crafting, even though those self defense braids are legal, I reckon you still have some issue using them. You, unless you are hunting in the right. Well, yeah, exactly. I I don't know what would happen. I know, though, from experience, though, that even if they find them in your house, they take them off you, uh, say that they found um, some kind of defence spray, because that's the problem. They say, they just read the bit that one of them said, like, defence spray on it, and then they um, take it off and test it, you know, Alex, all right, Alex, boom, play every old man wear boots. <laughs> Not blokes with tired feet, don't. <laughs> now, but I used to wear, I used to wear boots all the time. I just, I, um, I just can't be bothered anymore. Rocket, I'm in the UK and into air rifles. I have a Fairburn Rapid 17, 177 and a Falcon Light Hunter. What do you think of PCP arrows? I think you messaged me today about that, didn't you, mate? Um, they're good. Very accurate, low recoil and all that. But um, I've always preferred Springers purely because they don't run out of anything. But, yeah, PCPs are the better rifles, more accurate and all that. But um, I prefer a Spring Air rifle because you can just keep using it and using it and using it. You don't have to worry about anything else, personally. But that's just me. Ball that player, tip for everyone. Don't watch any vids by James Jago. He's a fraud. He's got many people killed with his tips. All right, I'll take that on board. Weapons I didn't, James Jager, tell people gas masks were useless because I couldn't be bothered to shave. <laughs> For God's sake. Jack Striker, I have a pair of MBC exterior steel toe cut boots. I'll show them in the next video. Yeah, do that, Jack. I've still got my old Doc Martens under here, but yeah, unless I have to, I don't like wearing them. I want to play many people killed. Are you sure? Scrapping, I love sprint springers too. Yeah, the thing with a springer, you know, there's no filling it up. No, you know, I do, you know, there's nothing wrong with PCPs, but um, yeah, all of my air rifles are springers, well, apart from the pump up one, but um, number side boo, don't let the police in unless you are going to be arrested for an indictable offense, you don't have to let them in, yeah. Well, every time they come in mass, they've already got a warrant, so I can't. <laughs> it's easier for me to let them in rather than them kick the door in. All that play, yeah, Liam, that guy. Bristol, watch out. I'm on the back, having a coffee at the moment. Yeah, I got a coffee. Jacob Tide, just out of curiosity, what's the legality of owning an apple duster? They're perfectly fine to own. You can own them. Just can't sell it or give it to anyone or, you know. Ball that player. Are Crambits legal over there? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, they are. Pete said yes. Weapons and stuff. A couple of my friends have got into competition shooting now. And they both bought very nice PCP rifles and scopes. I have to shoot them at some point. But yeah, I prefer springers and gas rounds. Yeah, PCPs are lovely to shoot. I've shot, is it an S410, is that it? Um, or an S10, I don't know, I can't remember what it was now, but it was bloody lovely, and it 
virtually no recoil and you can just bang, 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 bang in a bad, you know, you don't have to move the gun, so you're staying on target. But um but yeah, once that's run out there, if like me, I wouldn't be able to you know, I'd either have to pump it up again or I just prefer a springer, it's just less messing around, isn't there? The juice, nice bloody gun collection. Yeah, cheers, mate. Wish I had all my stuff up. If I had more. Oh, I've got more, but um, I just thought I'd do this one display this time for now. Problem is, I don't like stuff above my bloody um <laughs> bed. It falls on me. Jumbo so, Sour Boo, did you watch any of them vids we suggested? No, you missed the beginning, didn't you? I didn't get. I didn't quite get time. I was going to watch one of the films before I came on to here, and then I was messing around for so long, I didn't have time. But what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to watch them tomorrow, and um, you're going to watch them tomorrow, and they're ready for next week. So I'm probably going to do these regularly Friday and Saturday now. The Doom Slayers, coppers just bars their way into your house in the UK. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, it all depends. They never have in my, they never have here. They've always knocked on the door. Well, apart from one time when they was trying to um, they were sticking a card in the lock, but I have to be stood there at the time, and I just open the door because it be easy. If, I know if they're coming here, they're going to have a warrant, and it's easier just to open the door and stop them kicking the door down. You know what I mean, but then we've got to fix the door. The juice said, "Cheers, Jacob Taylor. I do fancy a PCP rifle, but it's just filling it all the time. Yeah, that's what stopped me getting one." Plus, I wouldn't be able to afford it now. Weapons and stuff like three. Yeah, in my opinion, a Springer is nice and simple. For what I want, a Springer is perfect. Yeah, exactly. If I wanted to spend a lot of money, I'd rather go to the effort of getting a real rifle than PCP. Bushcraft dude, anyone here shoot 2-2 two, two, full bore competitive? I've done it with cadets, and it doesn't seem that difficult. I was wondering if air rifles were more difficult or easier. I'm not sure, mate. There may be someone here who could answer that. Bullfrog, if there was an earthquake, all those weapons could fall off. Yeah, exactly. And that's why my bed's there and not here. And that's why the board stops there and <laughs> not over there. The juice, is that a famous in the middle, lower? No, it's not. A lot of people think it is, though. That is called the Chinese model 86S bullpup rifle. There's a video on my channel. But yeah, that one... I've actually never, ever had anyone say that right yet. Um, you know, trying to guess it. Um, yeah. Never. never. I've never known anyone to know what it was. Partly why I got it, because it's such an unusual gun. Pete said, yeah, I don't like the things above my head, just in case the earth starts to shake. Yeah, exactly. The bed shakes, but not the uh, not the walls. <laughs> Oh, Fallout player, just about anything can be used for self defense, including headphone wires can be used. Yeah, exactly. It's about getting imaginative and staying within the laws. You know what I mean? Doom player, two fingers, the eyeballs, good self defense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Weapons and stuff, air rifles are actually harder, at least with springers, because of how two strange spring recoil works. PCP, it's very similar to a 2 2 long rifle. Yeah, and I suppose with um with an air rifle, you've got to bring the gun down and move it all. You know, like when I shot that one, you literally, I could hold it and you could just do that every single time. But the gun was almost always on target, you know. Do said thanks. Bushcraft dude, the laws regarding it so stupid. That was your air rifle springers for long term. Always my choice. Yeah. Well, you think like us, actually, Zulu, you've got a similar mentality as quite a lot of us. It's all about the long term, you know. Bushcrapping, everything can be hard depending on how high up the comp you go. <laughs> on that play, it's kind of funny when someone mixes a 2 2 shot or a 2 2 long one. Bushcraft, bushcraft dude, actually, whilst I'm on the subject, Weapon Collector, what are your opinions regarding self defense and the the what the Occupy? You'd have to put that on again. Jacob Taylor, weren't you in the documentary, mate? What documentary? 
the Occupier's Liability Act. The fact that you could be sued if you have barbed wire in the fence. Oh, I didn't actually know that, so I'll have to look into that. Weapons and stuff, you have, you can have barrel drop issues with break barrels, as well as, like, my crossman now, fixed barrels have an advantage. Yeah, with the unbeliever in that, yeah. I'm saying, but I didn't know up until a while back you can own a fully automatic blank firing gun. I always thought it was only for TV and dramas, but my local gun dealer told me they're legal. Oh, I didn't know they existed. I oh, was using Preppers UK too, was you? I could have been in the first one, same as when Matt was in it, but um, I um, I didn't want to. Actually, Zulu self defence. Cab is a gamble. Not engaging is best. Yeah, exactly. In the home, anything goes on the street. You've got to be careful, not to be overzealous. Yeah. Bush Grappin, That was his brother in the documentary UK Preppers. Yeah. Yeah, my brother. My brother is. JDR Survival or John J. Rambo 11111, my twin brother. But they asked me to be in the original as well, but I just, well, I'd recently had an ear infection, bad one at that point, and I was virtually deaf, and I just, I didn't want to fancy trying to do that stuff, and I'm, you know, because if you have to keep saying what, 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 what all the time, it you at the fucking wall. <laughs> wall out player blanks are still lethal up to 10, 15 feet. The gases are hotter than hell. And they come out at over 3,000 feet per second. Now, I ain't got no blank fires anymore. I used to. I used to have quite a few. See, I thought cab was wrong, actually, Julie, but I just said it anyway. <laughs> yeah, CQB, yeah. Right, weapons and stuff. I got an email for that, but I always think they want to make us look like nut jobs. Yeah, Malcolm said in one of his that they was asking him to do some right weird stuff, and um, he wouldn't do it, and... I don't know about the second one. I'll have to watch that, mate. I didn't know you was in it. Bushcraft, dude. I got 100 quid for it for transport costs. Not complaining. Yeah, Malcolm didn't get nothing when he did it. Pete said, I have a blank. Point thirty-eight five shot revolver. Only downside it's orange. Yeah, that's the only thing. I wish I never got rid of mine. But all of mine, if I get them again, they're all going to have to be orange now. I actually had some of the old, I had a nickel Beretta, Black Desert Eagle, you know. Next was your Jumbles Airsoft are fun. One can tinker with them. Got a 1911 semi-auto fun, powerful clash. Yeah, I didn't know until I started watching um, Shed Ninja how powerful you can get them BB guns. And they're a lot more powerful than I thought they were. Pete said no blank. Guns in the UK have to be top venting with plug barrels, yeah. All that play at the moment that you're on a show, but shit hit fan, you're on on the list for it if ever have to be coming to your house for supplies. Yeah, exactly. Bushcraft dude. Well, I was 13 when I was on it. Please don't laugh. No, I didn't know that. I'll have to watch it, mate. I'd, I'd, I've only ever watched one that Mark was on, but yeah. If you've seen that one, Mark's only on it for a little bit. Uh... But yeah, that's my twin brother. Did, did you know that anyway? Well, that player. Also remember, op spec, when it comes to prepping, keep your prep secret. Yeah, exactly. Bullfrog. Those straight katanas. Are they wall hangers or functional? Uh, do you know what? I've never actually tested them to see, but I suspect they'd probably just be wall hangers. I wouldn't try and use them. Uh, they're not handmade or anything. I suspect they would probably break. Bushcraft dude, weapon and stuff, has done a video on BB guns in self-defense. They aren't very viable. Jack Striker, I remember your blank fire and vid when you were blasting off outside in the middle of the night. Yeah, oh, I thought that was all right video, that, but um, yeah. I ain't got none of them now. Well, I think I've got the two two um one somewhere, but Matt's got it. Double Sarah Boo said top vent inside vent and bottom venting. Yeah. Yeah, all mine was that. Doomsday I hate the way Doomsday Prepper makes it look like we're all paranoid. Yeah. And they do look make look people they do make people look bad. 
Weapons I've said BB airsoft guns are a bit weird. Airsoft skirmish sites have much lower power limits than the guns can go, so people don't get hurt. They work the same way as air guns, actually. Yeah. Um, Shed Ninjas, they look good. They, you know, they shoot through stuff. Pete said, are you the kid who used a knife edge to scrape a fire steel? And Bushcraft dude said, yeah, I watched the first one. Your brother was pretty good. I thought he was you at first. Nah, right. Yeah, well, you would. Do you know what I mean? I still get people now thinking me and Malk are one person. <laughs> Bushcraft dude, extreme bruise. Good stuff, killer. I'll have to go on your channel, mate. I've not had a look. Double side boo, my M16 is side vent in my AK47 bottom vent. All right. Scruff dude, cheers, mate. Want that player? You'd be better off using a paintball gun. At least that'll give them a welt. An airsoft gun would just feel like a pinch. Yeah, I'll, personally, I wouldn't use a BB gun for a self defense, but um, but they are. I have seen them more powerful than I thought they were, but I wouldn't use them for. I mean. Crazy chicken guy, hey mate, do you still make any homebrew? Not so much at the minute, because um, I've got to watch what I'm drinking at the minute, but I've still got all the stuff for it. I've still got loads left from last time. Weapon and stuff, my M4A1 is about 340 feet per second with a very low fire rate. Had a spring cut to make airsoft sights safe, but it was about 400 feet per second. Jacob Taylor, which wife do? did you get many more views after you was on that? Doomslayer, I miss Funky Prepper. I heard he had a kid. Oh, is that where he's gone then? I had heard recently someone saying about quite a few of them had gone. Well, for my channel's got a few bottle cut vids. Topics in. All right. Trapdoor, any new ideas for tactical pry bars? I've still got loads of plans, mate, but I've never got around to making them. I still want to. Thing with making the pry bars and the knives, especially the knives. There's shitloads, like, I mean, hours worth of grinding with a fucking angle grinder. And it just does my head in. It's not enjoyable work. You know what I mean? Just don't enjoy it. If I had a good belt grinder, I could knock them out good. But I will definitely make some, because Liam's one, Liam wanted, Weapons Done Up 3 wants a, a tactical tanto off me, which I will do eventually. said they do sting like a bitch with them and stuff. Yeah, for self-defense, when they're powerful enough, they're classed as air guns, and not airsoft. Bushcraft dude. Yeah, I went from 100 subscribers to 1,400 in a week. Oh, that's good. That's a massive improvement, isn't it? Exo Zulu said, before, like, I beg to differ, my 1911 will take your face off rapid reload. You would not want to have it done to you. I'm sorry, Boo. In, in some US state prisons, they use paintball guns for non lethal defense. Yeah, I bet a paintball gun does hit hard. Well, you, I've, you've seen it, the bruises, you know what I mean? Pete said, What do you think of Prepper's shop website? Never seen it, mate. I'll have to look that up. Because I'm just really into home security now. I guess it's another form of prepping. Yeah, well, I've got security cameras, certain locks, you know. Um, it's always good to be secure in your home, you know what I mean? Other stuff, yeah, I'd recommend a paintball gun over airsoft gun any day, especially with pepper spray balls. Yeah, that striker. Do you think the pepper boom was just a craze of the moment with most of the big names now gone, never uploading? Not that I thought they were any good anyway. Now, I'll be honest with you, Jack, I agree with you there. I was never really into, into any of the big ones, because it was all too much sort of bollocks and... A lot of them, you know, a lot of the big ones still are. It's money making. You know what I mean? Um, I prefer our kind of channels where you can tell it's more real. You know what I mean? And they're, you know. But I think it was a craze, you know. Especially with the sort of zombie stuff being popular. That, that comes into the prepping thing, sort of thing. You know, because you can add that sort of fantasy element to it, to, you know. For that player, someone drove into Mississippi River here a couple of weeks ago. Mississippi actually originates here in Minnesota. All right. Bushcraft, they are really accessible, though, for UK residents. Oh, what, the I don't think you get the pepper spray bowls, not legally. 
Doomslayer said if you freeze the paintballs, they are even more painful. Yeah, well, I think we spoke about that, didn't we? Doomslayer, boot. UK legal paintballs leave the barrel at 200 miles an hour. I used to marshal at a local site, which my mate owns. All right. We're scrapping. Some aspects of prepping is good, but they take it to the extreme. You know, I'm not really a prepper. I like to be prepared for certain things, but I'm not preparing for the end of the world or anything. I mean, I would just like to be prepared. If I had to leave my house, I could just grab a bag and go. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't plan for the end of the world unless I knew it was definitely coming, sort of thing. You know what I mean? Weapon stuff. My issue with lots of big channels is they get very sensational this, make clickbait, etc. Say wrong things on purpose to get views and attention. Yeah, that's true. X-ray Zulu, home security with everyone and his dog bugging out the woods with Bichaka and I'm drunk idiots. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Jacob Taylor, Jack Strike, I liked your video on the mail order knives, mate. At least I think it was you. Uh, I think it was what it was about. Um, remember to ban zombie knives? Oh my god, what a load of shit. Yeah, it was ridiculous that was. Not the proper side balls, but others have said freeze regular paintballs with a powerful one. And yeah, yeah I imagine that would hit really hard. Run tough, that's how you get views though. Like Funky Prepper gets crap kit, then reviews it. Yeah, you know, it all depends if you want to do that kind of thing. I don't like doing stuff like that personally. Wrong frog. What is that small screen behind you? This is a digital photo frame that I put some info on, like my Patreon supporters, and it says support me on Patreon. It says uh, that I'm on Twitter and Facebook and that, and blog. Just a little bit of information. It shows up, I don't know what it shows up like on here, but when the video's HD, it's a bit better. But yeah, it's just a digital photo frame. I just thought it had... Originally, I was going to have knuckle duster pictures on it and pictures of my other stuff, but I did that instead. All that player being hit with a paintball is about the equivalent of being hit with a heavy piece of iron at high speed. Now, I've never been paintball, so I wouldn't know, but yeah, look painful because I've seen the bruises. Peach, that was because of all the plastic gangsters in London hacking each other with pictures of it. Yeah. <laughs> Six mil ball bearings. Gas and gun kept warm. I put my BB gun going through goose out pan. Double glazing, I don't know. Well, I don't know that's how you get lots of views. I just wouldn't sink to myself. Nah, exactly. Electro, alright. I could see you on. I wish I could be here, buddy, but I'm on 10 minute break at work. Can we discuss? What kind of weapons you would use in space? <laughs> That's interesting. I'll try to, but um, sometimes these comments go so mad. Better off with good catapult and marbles. Yeah, I forgot about catapults. Catapults are a good thing. Double side boot. The way that zombie knife ban is worded, it basically covers any cool knife the police or customs want to seize. Yeah. I can imagine a crossbow would work in space. Yeah. Have you ever seen that gun that the Russians developed for the um for space? And it had like um I think the stock when you took the sheath off was like a machete. You ever seen that? Bushcraft do said I disagree with some of you some of you vids, but I still think they really good and informative. I don't click them purely for the thumbnail title. Bullfrog, someone needs to review tanks. Review tanks. Comes off perfectly. Have you heard the phrase giving someone a Chinese haircut? If you have, do you think it's a form of torture? No, I've never heard of that, mate. Bush crapping, someone needs to make a cheap slingshot crossbow. Hint, hint, hint. I'll, I'll, I'll have to do that because I've, 
the funny thing is, I actually have nearly done that before. I'll have to do it. I will do it, mate. What I was thinking of is possibly doing something that you can easily add to the pistol crossbows. Just like an end you can put on, make them more powerful. All that player, forbidden TV is a good place to get vids. They aren't fear porn. I've got a few of his vids on my channel playlist. All right. We're scrapping cat butts right here. Well, I know you like them, mate. You can hit things with them as well, can't you? I can't. I'm bloody terrible with cat butt. But now, I've never really practiced, though, so. Other the stuff. They had an underwater gun as well, which is quite cool. Yeah, and the bullets were like big long things, almost like a little spear on the end, weren't they? And it, wasn't it like an AK-47 and the magazine was like that wide, wasn't it? I don't know if that's, you know, there's a few, aren't there? Bushcraft dude said he's off to bed. Good night. Good night, mate. Wallfrog. Rest of my hairdresser is Chinese. She always does a good job. Wouldn't call it torture. That sucks. <laughs> Bush crap and said, Yeah, I've seen the underwater needle gun, AK Fox, everything. Yeah, yeah, it's bizarre, isn't it? Well, it? Let me look in here. I've actually got a book next to me. I don't think it's in here, but I'll have a look in here quickly and I'll see if it's in here. But this ain't the book it was in, as far as I'm aware. If anyone knows what it's called, tell me. <laughs> Really, can you adapt catty to sh you can adapt catty to shoot arrows? Yeah, I've seen Mount do that. That AK 47 thing, what do you reckon that would be under? Um, assault rifles? Weapons of yeah, it was the flatjet launch you know, as they go further underwater. Oh, no, yeah. Pete said, all you need is a slingshot, a split ring, and cable ties. You can shoot arrows out of it. Yeah, I've got a thing for mine. Jacob Taylor, there's a German bloke who makes things like catabot crossbows. I can't remember his YouTube. That's the slingshot channel. you old sprav, isn't it? Which crapping. Got to be subsonic to all the bullets fragment. Weapons have said APS underwater rifle. Yeah, I'll be able to look. I, just, I was going to see, because it may be in here. Just grab my mind, shoot slingshot ammo out of the crossbow. Ah, right. It's funny thing, I was going to ask you what you specifically mean, because it could be either way. All right, I'll have a think about that. Yeah, I don't think that gun's in here. Wrong book. But I have got a book with it in. Uh, Fallout player, don't acknowledge this, but. <laughs> There's a weird thing about blowpipes over here. I don't know if it's come into force yet, but I think they're on the um, band list, don't they? Yeah. Low guns are illegal in yeah, you know, I think I, I, you can still own them, can't you though? I don't I don't really know though. Bush crap and I read that blow guns are illegal in the UK the other day. But you can't buy them. Yeah, I'm sure you can still have them in your garden and shoot them. You just can't buy them. Most things are illegal in this country. They're only illegal to buy them and all that, I thought. I'm not hundred percent sure, I don't you know, but Exo Zulu said zip. Gun. <laughs> All that player. Shit hit van laws don't mean anything. Yeah, exactly. You know, once that's gone to that stage. Weapon stuff, you can get paintball blow guns that circumvent the law. Jacob Taylor, who was it who got you and your brother into all this? Or did you just come around naturally? Well, that's an interesting question. When we was little, I remember always seeing, like, uh, I remember when I was about five. I can't remember... When I was, uh, when I grew up, we lived at my nan and granddad's house till I was five. Can't remember ever seeing any weapons then. 
But when we moved to our new house for six months, the one before this one, I remember seeing next to my dad's bed a crossbow, a truncheon, and a Fairbairn Sykes knife. And we was always, you know, when kids in the 80s, especially boys, always had toy guns anyway. And then my dad would make us, like, wooden swords, and we'd have sword fights and that, and wooden guns. And then it just sort of evolved from there. So I've always had a fascination with weapons, to be honest. I always remember looking at them crossbows and thinking, that crossbow, and thinking, oh, that's well nice. Most graphic, and I've seen videos of people in the US hunting small game with blowguns. Surprisingly how powerful. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Mark of the Six. Unfortunately, the gun laws are too strict in Canada, so the only time I see guns is when I roll up my sleeves. <laughs> Pete said, uh, yeah, Cold Steel make a cool blowgun. Dumbbell Sabu, I remember at the age of 11 finding a live World War II 50 caliber browning round and put the cordite in an old custard tin, filled it with petrol, <laughs> made a hole in the lid and dropped a little mat in it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Lucky you got a bloody head left after that. Fallout player, yeah, blowguns, especially the 40 caliber ones, can make anything from a mouse, can take anything from a mouse to a big rat, rabbit, bullfrog. All right, I'm off for the night. You all right, mate? Running the stuff, yeah, just just seeing that cold steel make the English bill for under 150 quid. Would be very tempted to buy that sometime. What's that then, mate, the English bill? Doom said, my grandparents used to have swords and muskets on their walls. <laughs> Dumbo said, but yeah, I was running around with my hair on fire. <laughs> Pete said, the police club. All right. Oh, yeah. And it's actually like, it's even they've even painted it like an old, very old traditional um, police trench, don't they, if that's the one. Yeah, I have seen that. They actually made it look like a proper antique um, trench. I would just look it up, but like I said, I don't like... As soon as I start messing around with this fucking computer, it starts wanting to disconnect from the um, internet, and then I can't see the bloody comments again. AR is a film that some of you look would like. Bill Hook. Oh, the big pole arm, like a pole axe, or Swiss halbert. It's a very common injury weapon in the 1400s, 1500s. Yeah, I, I, I sort of, I've seen pictures of them and that. How's that for a film? One up player said BRB. Has anyone ever seen the the series of films that this is sort of took from? I never knew that till well, I've known it for quite a few years, but it's um this film is made up from clips of other films, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Shogun Assassin, brilliant film that is. I was going to try and make the claw weapon that one of them has once. I probably still will. Rocket said, class, joke and assassin, yeah. Great film, that, isn't it? Here's another mental one. I don't know if you've seen this one. Completely insane. That is Story of Ricky. Bush crapping, I like the idea of the walking stick staff and the old English Irish martial arts that went with them. You can get very competent with them. Yeah, I like that. It's good because no one can say anything about a walking stick either. You know what I mean? Number two, you can legally buy walking dead Lucille bats with real barbed wire. I'm just waiting for a UK seller to get some back in stock so I can buy one. I've seen them as well. I might have to give that a go making one. I have got a baseball bat. I'd rather get a second one, though. I've just, I haven't seen that one. I've seen all the shitty ninja films done by Godfrey Hare. I'll tell you what, man, you've got to watch that. Fucking amazing. But it's, it, the whole film is took from clips of a whole series of films that they did. But you wouldn't notice that. Doomsday, Lone Wolf and Cub. That's it, yeah, the Lone Wolf and Cub series. But um, when I got this, you couldn't get the Lone Wolf and Cub films. But you can now. Banned since 1983. Yeah, brilliant film that is. 
Who was it who um, edited it and put it together? Um, oh, I can't remember. Now. Anyway, Rocket, have you seen Deadly Spawn Class Early Action? No, I've never seen that, mate. Right? Doom Flare Shogun Assassin, well worth watching. Brilliant, isn't it? Crazy Chicken Guy, any tattoos are part of Maker? No, the funny thing is, that's the only one I ever had. I was never really interested. Like, I got that, and then I've never really been interested in any others. I, I highly recommend Shogun Assassin Liam as one of my favourite films. I absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, I've never really been into tattoos, and never been anything I've ever wanted to get. The only things, the only things I could ever think of that I might get was possibly something, because it all has to be practical stuff. I think I wouldn't like having a tattoo on your chest saying "must resuscitate" or something, or stuff like your blood type. You know, I probably wouldn't get this done, but it was just thoughts. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Uh, Blood type and all stuff like that, must resuscitate, you know, shit like that. Um, yeah, but no, there's never anything I could really think of. Fallout play, okay, I found the self defense tool that I recommend. It's called the Ready Man EDC self defense tool. I've never had that, man. I have to look that up. They could tell you I really want to make or buy one of those old school lead weighted coshes. Yeah, you'd probably have to make one now if you wanted one. Have a look on my channel for um, lead weighted, uh, no, um, coin sap kosh. Go on my channel, look up coin sash, coin, ah, oh, fuck, I can't say it. Coin sap kosh. And that would be a legal version. You know, I'll show you. Tattoos, you're a big Adam fan. Exactly. Love a bit of that, but. <laughs> You've got to go the the sort of kosh route. This is a money pouch. And you can use this, you know, properly as a wallet. That's the way you want to go. Some money parts, you know what I mean? Extra Zulu says you're a big Alba fan. Yeah, told you. All that players got to go. Do you like it, mate? Pete said that ready man would not be UK legal if the police looked at it. What is it? Describe it to me. Tell you what, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to have a look. I'll probably regret this. Just looking that thing up quickly. Yeah, I don't reckon you'd be able to um, carry that. Jacob Taylor, Bushcraft dude, I just thought bike chain or bike lock would just would be just bike lock could use that as a self defense tool. Go and look at my if, if you want to look at, at legal legal um legal self defense weapon, look at my video legal self defense weapons, and every single thing on there would be something you could potentially you could carry and that could be potentially used as a weapon if needed. Pete said no uh, like a no blade cram bit brass nothing. Yeah I had a look in the end I don't think you'd get away with that. Jacob Taylor that's cool that might just finding the coins to put in it if I can. One piece two peas. All I got in here is one piece two peas and five peas mate there's about a quid's worth of money in there. <laughs> Jack Striker, the only way you'd get away with that coin pouch is in the public if you were dressed as Robin Hood. 
I've been to the pub with this, Jack. I'll have you know. <laughs> Weapons and stuff. I know a guy used used a big DU bike lock to smash a window of a car that hit and ran him. Made it easy for the police to catch the driver. Oh, nice. Thank you. Do self defence. One reason I've always carried two sack. Open the side tool. Use a knuckle duster type. Left and right. Yeah, the um, like the little punch, you know, between your fingers, can't you? Who's ever seen this one? Doom player, ah, oh, you are the weapon. Everything else is a tool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, keep fit, keep, you know, keep prepared. You know, that all helps. That all makes a massive difference. And try and avoid things in the first place. In a lot of situations, you can you can avoid it before it happens. You know, you see some weird people at night. But try not to go near them. Too many people put themselves into stupid situations, really. You know what I mean? X-ray said, Zoom, well said, brother. Pete said, just fill that bag of hard sweets from all the old guys who wink at you. <laughs> Double said, boot, large U fence wire nails. Use green flower arranging tape to put two end to end. Then add more until it was spike spear it was better than a throwing star it could be used with cow drops the funny thing is when you were saying that i was thinking of cow drops well it's original baton <laughs> that way when i've had a bit of a scare tonight walking back along the path there's a bush there that always looks like a person lurking in the shadows i hate that i used to have a weird bit where we was always looks like there's someone there and there's not Tier 100, have you seen the itchy anime? No, I haven't, mate. Is that what came first? I'm going to put the DVD in. But no, I've not. I've only ever seen that. Doomsayer said, I'm not ashamed to cross over if there's a gang up ahead because you're never going to win. Yeah, exactly. It's just common sense. and it, You know, put, if you put yourself in situa stupid situations, it's your own fault. You know what I mean? X-ray Zulu said weapon stuff. That is a person who looks like a bush. <laughs> oh, I just got off quick piss. Don't go mental with the comments, otherwise I've got to start reading them on again. Here's a good self-defense thing. Metal bottle. Once that's full of water, that's heavy. Not going to break. You can put lanyard on it, go around your hand, so you won't lose it. No one can take the weapons at the bottle, but it can be continuously used. That way, you've got to get imaginative. People don't think of all of the simple things you can do. That way. Dumble says, Bruce, you can't beat a motorcycle chain too. Dream Slayer, I'm not ashamed. To... I've read that, yeah. Must have missed yours. All right. Paul Brewer said, evening. All right, mate. I was just having a quick slash. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to outstaff me, I guess, then. I did inspect it properly when I got close, so I remember the location next time. But did you say there was a bloke in the bush then? Or it, or it looked like there was a bloke? Yeah, it looks like a person lurking in the shadows. Yeah, it's weird when stuff like that happens. Pete said, in real life, one versus one could be done, but one versus two or more, no way you can win. Leg it. Yeah, it's just come, you know, too many people think, oh, you know, I don't know just avoid it, or, you know, nothing wrong with running the fucking way, you know what I mean, if you're fucking going to live. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Pete said the bush man was wanking out. <laughs> wanking off. <laughs> uh, fuck. I, when I was... 
about 15, was bunking off school, and I was hanging around in the woods behind the school, smoking, and and uh, I came out of a bush, and I saw this bloke, and I saw it just as I come up the hill. He sort of laid down, sort of thing, and I was like, what? And as I got closer, I don't think he saw me or even knew I was there, but as I got up the hill, he was, having, he was laid there having a wank. I didn't know what to fucking do. You know what I mean? Stuff. No, it just always looks like one, but I want to remember, so I approach so cautiously. Yeah, so I want to approach cautiously next time. Yeah, it's weird how things that happen. So, yeah, saying that, Peach, we did used to have a public masturbator who lived near me. Dream player, like people watching too many Jackie Chan movies. All right, John Wayne, would you ever get a shotgun license or a firearm license? I probably would, and only because I wouldn't want the um, police have to keep coming around here all the time, checking things. Do you know what I mean? I'd just rather not. Pete, oh my God, no way. <laughs> Nicholas, Danino, super bright LED torches like the tiny Monster 03. Most have a granulated bezel that you can use for self-defense and strobe mode too. Yeah, you can't beat a good torch. What you want to do, you want to do a little combination of things. So you can have a torch and carry a tactical pen. You know, I always carry a bottle of water on me. So metal bottle of water would be a good club. You know what I mean? Well, that's full. That's, that's heavy. You know, you can have a, a group of stuff. You know what I mean? You don't just have to have one thing. But, um, you know, people... I don't know, it's just getting imaginative and thinking things. Think of things that are legal, you know. Jack Striker, one of those small cylinders of pepper is, is a good close quarter weapon. The contents will fly through the air about four or five foot. I don't know if he's still around. Might end up catching him with the IR camera at some point. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is, you won't be able to, You might catch him. You won't be able to show the footage though. Well, no one would want to see it anyway. But he can blur it out. <laughs> Pete said exclusive 18 plus weapons and stuff like the free content. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see that. If you do film him, don't show us the footage. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally caught a bloke having a wank in the fucking field, you know, in the back of the woods once. I didn't even know what to do, you know, because it shocks you. Like, what the fuck? I just sort of turned around and sort of ran off, you know. Because you never, you'd never do what you think you would do. You think if you catch someone doing something like that, you'd go over and punch him in the face or something. Do you know what I mean? But you don't. When you see something like that, it shocks you. And you're like, what the fuck? And I just sort of turned around and run off. <laughs> I, mean, stuff I, heard, I heard a story, I think it was made up, that he was jerking off in some bush and they cut it off. That's Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Jacob Taylor. I've got like a 16 centimetre like blunt nail bolt thing I keep in the bottom of my bag that could do, do someone with. Pete said this is so slow. Yeah, anyone else caught people wanking in bushes or anything? <laughs> That's the only time I've ever experienced anything like that, though, as far as I can think of. Yeah, there's only about... I was definitely under 16 because I was still in school when it happened. I was bunking off school at the time. <sighs> but I think if there was anything else like that. No. Jumbo Sabo, that guy in the woods was. Mix from Silence of the Lambs, mate. <laughs> yeah, fuck's sake. Oh, God. We used to have our own freak show in our local woods. The, uh, that video I did about the one we used to say was a pedo. I don't think he was a pedophile, but um, that was what the rumours were, you know what I mean? 
when my stuff night free, a lot of my neighbours probably think I'm the weird one stalking around at night with an IR camera. Yeah, exactly. Or camo up wandering around in NPC suits. I'm harmless, really, though. Yeah, I bet they, I bet they would think, especially with the NPC suits on, that would look very strange if you, if you didn't know your neighbours, sort of thing. Jack Striker, you caught someone having a shit, was it? No, I came up a field once and I caught some bloke laying on the floor having a wank. His dog sat next to him. <laughs> Pete said, when I was little, I had a mate chase me with used condom on a stick. It was grim. Didn't get me, thank God. <laughs> That's yeah, I was, bunking, I was bunking off a school jack, and um, I've seen this bloke walking his dog, and I was sort of hiding from him. Yeah, and then I just came up this hill bit, and he sat down just as I was coming up. And then I got to the top, he was laid down on the fucking wank. The dog sat next to him, his bloody Labrador. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bloke having a shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I don't think it is. Yeah, that was in our local woods, yeah. Yeah, the runner. When um, he was going up to our base, and um, <laughs> I had this on me at the time. I actually nearly hit him with it because all we saw, me and Tommy, Tommy was about 12 at the time, was this bloke jump out of this bush ass <laughs> with a sort of shocked look on his face. He just sort of, because he did, he sort of jumped out of the bush at us and then, and then went and then sort of run down it. And your instant thought was, what the fuck? Why has this bloke just jumped out on us? And then it suddenly started to dawn on me that. He was wearing running clothes because you didn't you didn't notice that at first because it made you jump. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I remember Tommy saying to me, "Oh, I wonder if he was having a wank. I wonder if there's a pornos in there, something like that." Now when I went in there, there was one little <laughs> one bit of tissue, a great big lump of shit on it, and a great big like wet <laughs> turd on the floor. So, mate, he must have had shit all up his ass when he ran off. <laughs> but yeah, when he jumped out on us, I had this in my hand. And I sort of nearly... Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. He said, was it the dog that was having a wank or the guy? The bloke was, but the dog sat next to him. And the guy leaving the cigs. Yeah, that's the one... Whoever it was leaving the, the fags and that, that's who we used to think was... Well, we never knew it was. But I suspect it might have been, we suspect that it might have been the same bloke who we used to call Chaddy the pedo. But yeah, he said he's fucking wetting himself. Yeah, the pedo with the cigs, yeah, that old one. Yeah, we used to think that was just us that that happened around. But, um, you know, and then when I spoke about it and did the video, it turned out loads of people, um, that's like a common thing. Bushcrapping said that he'd seen somewhere that that was like a proper pedo thing. And they used to tell each other how to do it. Not not bushcrafting, but he read about how, or heard something about how pedos would um, tell each other how to do it. You know what I mean? You know these tips. You know, um, yeah, the pedo leaving the six log cabin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a fucking log bush, mate. And we went in there. It was proper dirty old shit, like a diarrhea shit as well. So he must have had it all up his ass. Was it literally one square bog roll? That's all he'd managed before we walked up on him. Doom saying, my neighbours hate me because I shoot my air guns in the garden. They probably think a spree killer waiting to happen. Well, I'm lucky. The neighbours that side, I've known them for 20 years. And um, I used to give them a lot of shit, to be honest, but they've always been all right about it. <laughs> they've got every right to hate me, but they don't. They quite like us, weirdly enough. They always just took it in. Good sport, I suppose. The ones behind us, I don't know, though, and I try to hide from them when I shoot. And the ones this side, she's fine about it as well. But I always shoot respectively, if you know what I mean. I make sure they can't see me when I'm doing it. I make sure the backstop's really good. I make sure if they're in the garden, I don't shoot. You know what I mean? Best to keep your neighbours on your side, innit? Well, as I've said, maybe it was the Michael Myers guy doing a funny walk. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't seen that, go and watch Liam's um, night vision video he did. Because I think that bloke does look like Michael Myers. He's walking like this. He's completely like 
<laughs> As he goes into the bushes. Just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I find it fucking funny. Yeah, I'm lucky. My neighbours are alright. Oh, the, the ones behind, I don't know. Um, and I suspect they're a bit weird. Um, I heard them want moaning about saying someone had been smoking marijuana in my back garden. And their fucking garden all stinks of fucking skunk. You know what I mean? Rocket, is it against the law to shoot an air rifle in the back garden if it's your property or council? It's all right as long as you've got... You must have a proper decent backstop. But if any pellets go into someone else's garden, you could get done for that, potentially. Dumble Sale Boo said, yeah... That had in high school was 14 back in 1987, just after the hunger for shooting. My art teacher wasn't happy, but I used Rambo for subject matter. What I was a nutter. Yeah, funny thing is, on my art, whenever I, we did art project, it was always I'd do bits of guns and stuff, but they never <laughs> thought that of me, though, luckily. I think they already knew we were nutters anyway, but they seemed to like us. And stuff, uh, no, only if you shoot out of your garden, yeah. Yeah, the pellets have to stay in your garden. Saying about things like, this is a funny thing. My next door neighbour, that side, the one I've known for years, I once saw her in her back garden, the girl. It's a girl who likes shooting. Um, I remember her, I remember seeing her through my window in her back garden, shooting a similar pistol to this, shooting it down the back garden. No backstop whatsoever. And the only backstop they was using was a really, really thin bush that you could see through. And I was just watching out my window thinking, oh, for fuck's sake, you're going to shoot the person in that garden in a minute. And then knowing what will happen, they'll say, they'll say someone behind us has shot them with a gun, and I'll probably get the fucking blame for it. Because I'm the one who's known for, for having guns, don't you know I mean? Weapons officer, people who make me paranoid are the ones that dangerously set fireworks off. Yeah, that's a very, very dangerous thing. You can you have to be very careful with fireworks. If I ever see anyone doing fireworks, or, you know, like for even a display, I always tell them to be very careful. You don't want to kill yourself over things like that. Doomslayer, I'll make sure I have a strong backstop and pellets don't bounce over the fence. I'm all about safety. My dad taught me well. Yeah, that's the best thing for it, mate. And... Everything will go fine that way, you know. As soon as you start being reckless, you could hurt yourself, hurt someone else, have your gun took off you, get arrested, you know, all stupid things that that are um, easily to avoid, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Pete said, what an idiot. My ex lives in a row of houses out in... Oh, yeah, you mean the girl, yeah, shooting the gun, yeah. I was looking out the window thinking, oh, fuck you now. She's gonna, if the person came out their back door, she'd shoot them. You know what I mean? Gumball Subin, my ex lives in the row of houses out in the sticks. Somebody reported hearing a gun go off and the armed police came and searched all the houses. Bearing in mind this is in the sticks. And That's weird, isn't it? But yeah, when she was shooting that gun, I thought, I'm going to get the fucking blame for that. <laughs> Don't mean she'll get shot. I said, old pine bed heads are very good for backstop, stop pellets and arrows. Yeah, you know, any that's perfect. Wood, a bit of ply, ply board, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, a bit of wood, a couple of bits of wood, you know, just be all would be safe with the crossbows. I make sure I'm shooting a backstop and then homemade backstop and then the shed. So if I miss, it's going to hit the shed and it would have to go through the shed first, you know what I mean? That's just because I've got a house behind me, you know what I mean? So I can't risk it. Going through. Doom sir, uh, shooting cardboard is decent if you don't want pellets to bounce out. Yeah, a bit of, just put a bit of cardboard on the front of the wood or something, or a good thing is getting um layers of cardboard or boxes, thin boxes filled with newspaper, you know. Yeah, not worth the risk, you know, just doing something stupid and losing all your guns or something, you know. Yeah, you've got to watch out even a bouncing pellet. If, like, technically, if a pellet bounced off and went in someone else's garden and they found that pellet, technically that's a pellet that's gone in someone else's property. So you could get done, but, you know. 
Pink said, as a backstop, you want soft, then hard, so you don't mess up the bolts, arrows very much. Yeah. I've found a good one now. Getting old Daz boxes and filling them with newspaper, and they've already got a ready-made handle, you know. Once I said, I have an empty field behind my garden. Still, I'm very careful, though. Get enough idiots accuse me of being dangerous shooter despite all the precautions. Now, I've heard you say that, that people have said stupid things, you know, and they don't really know that you are being safe. You know I mean? Yeah, I used the um, headboard behind the archery boss. Yeah, that's a perfect thing. Nearly running out of coffee. Lasted a good while though. Jumble said, but I wouldn't dare risk it. I live in a rural town. If a neighbour saw me with a knife, air rifle, or coffee in the back garden, bet you any money you like, the armed police would be told. That's a pity. That I, mean, I got it. I'm quite lucky around here. And as long as I do it like respectfully, I make sure like my next door neighbour this so she's in the garden doing the washing or something or having a sunbathe. I would not shoot out there. Um, the only time I've ever shot with them in their garden was when I was doing the shooting competition. But um, I try not to, even if they're, you know, but they're they're not too bad about it anyway. They know I'm sort of safe. And them so those CO two BB guns are bad for ricochets. Yeah, especially if you use the copper BBs. I remember shooting some copper BBs in the garden. Like, they're going everywhere. In the end, I stopped shooting them. I've still got a great big tub of them. I'm never going to shoot. I was going all over the place. Cool, bro. My first bow I had, Dad fired it. The arrow went over the fence and stuck in a street sign. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah. That's a, you know, you're getting some shit for that, potentially. You know what I mean? Taking a couple of edit tablets. Jacob Taylor, I'm normally really safe with shooting, except one time when we got pissed at a barbecue, started throwing practice cans up in the air trying to shoot them. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I have done stupid things like that when I was younger. I even got one of my mates to hold a can on top of his head, and I was going to shoot it off his head. And he must have seen what I was doing, and he must have realised... That I was holding the gun straight at his face because he ducked down just as I pulled the trigger and as he, as he ducked down I shot the can off his head so had he not ducked down I probably would have shot him straight in the face but that was in the days when I used to do a lot of really 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 stupid things and get arrested all the time so you know that was a like normal thing for me in them days and so, yeah the same for me they're fine with it but I prefer privacy when I shoot yeah Please chopper always hovers over there. Yeah, that would put me off a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's just about being be respectful to your neighbours, do you know what I mean? And then you'll be better off in the long run, do you know what I mean? Dumble Tabu, hey Mike, you ever thought about taking up metal detecting, man? I've had a little sort of think about it, never not too much, but um the Malcolm's got a metal detector. Something interesting. And my sister's boyfriend, fiance, he does a bit of that magnet fishing. Never found anything good, though. Yeah, I think it would be worth doing. The only thing that puts me off is the um, same as certain shooting. You've got to ask permission, really, ain't you, in certain places? Uh, you sh I don't know. Well, I think you do, don't you? You have to ask permission, don't you? I hate knocking on people's doors, asking for permission to go and bring in their fields, do you know what I mean? But uh, it would be an interesting thing to do, but, you know, I bet I, I bet I would get into that and enjoy it. I bet you could do that all, you know, I bet you really could get into that and enjoy it. Pete said, I love when you see videos of people shooting guns, they go, get so chuffed that they hit the target and <laughs> Turn 180 sweeping everyone. Yeah. I'll, uh, bloody hell. From the stuff, I'd get one of those for sure if I live near the coast. Might find some <coughs> interesting stuff in the sand. Yeah. 
Malcolm's got one. Not a very, uh, I don't know where he got it from. It's not like an expensive one or anything. Uh, and I think he did it for, like, you know, like once or twice. But it's, um, it'd definitely be worth doing. I could probably do it in where my cousin Ben shoots. He could probably ask them if we could do it there. And they'd say, yeah. Because it's about, the only reason you got to ask permission is because if you find something, they've got to have half of it, haven't they? I suppose you could just do it, and then if you found something, go and tell them, and they get their half of it. You know what I mean? But it would be an interesting do. Oh, by the way, while I'm here, don't forget to like the stream and share it. Get some more people on. I always forget to mention that. <laughs> Can you still get fanny magnets? You're looking at one, mate. You're looking at a fanny magnet. <laughs> Jumbo's elbow. Getting the permissions can be hard, but you can make a lot of money from your funds. Yeah, I bet you can. Fucking fortune. Um, but yeah, I would like to do it. It's just, it's it's the asking. I I, well, I don't know. I'm quite antisocial. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, you probably go and ask. Where my cousin Ben shoots, you probably do it all around there. That's all fields and woods, don't I? I have to look into it. Jacob Taylor, go magnet fishing down in Manchester, but you find all sorts of guns down there. Yeah, I bet you would. Manchester, Liverpool, and that. Work on some magnet fishing from one of those nice surrender bins. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> straight in, out, whack it straight on the wall. <laughs> Talking about knives, I got this one out to show you today, which was my little seamer. Still not finished it off yet. I've put a um, put a Kydex insert into it. I don't know if you can see that there, so it doesn't move now. I still want to put a little survival kit or something in there. That's a good little knife now. Now I've done that. But the only thing is the, the knife was too small for the sheath. <laughs> And Pete says, good idea to weapon this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, um, my sister's fiancé goes um, magnet fishing occasionally. I've never been with him because they go early. I think they try and go like five o'clock in the morning or something at first light to avoid people. I, don't, I can't remember if they found anything yet there. But it all depends where you go though. But I've watched this thing with this bloke, um, it was on YouTube, this bloke uh, going, is a shallow river, and he just travels along the river, finding all this fucking stuff in it. And I don't know how, if, how realistic it is, but um, he finds mobile phones and watches and rings, and, and that's just looking in the water. That's not with um, any tools or anything, as far as I remember. Dumble sour boost, the trouble is it's always kitchen knives stranded in the amnesty bins and the old couple of combat knives out of thousand handed in are always put in the top of the media. Yeah. It's, you can see when they show it, it's mostly all just total crap. Same with after guns when they do the gun ones. Most of them's air rifles, old shitty air rifles. Pete said, I made a Kydex neck, neck sheath for my opener using your bros vid. Oh, nice. Kydex is good stuff. You can make some good old stuff out there, Kydex. Jacob Taylor, is that lad from yesterday on the one who was asking about getting his hands? Uh, he's probably blocked. I don't know if... Um, he probably won't be able to come on any of them now. Now, since I had to do that. Two people got it yesterday from messing around. But I don't know if that's blocked them or just... Do you know what I mean? Well, from the stuff, shame they don't do a proper gun buyback. You could trade in shit guns for money <laughs> than buy a better gun. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they don't want to give you anything, do they? You know. Pete said good. Yeah. I 
think your coffee's gone now. One more gulp. Right, myself there. That was the thing I asked you about on the old Q&A, Mike. I had lots of dodgy people asking to buy and sell guns from me. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember you saying, yeah, that must annoy you. Because I would hate it. I'd just... Shit like that really pisses me off. People ask you stupid fucking things like that. Because, you know, it's just fucking stupid, isn't it? You know what I mean? That would have really pissed me off if I had that a lot. I'm saying, jump us our birthday pay, bugger off handguns after they am blind like 200 quid for a 1,500-pound pistol. Yeah, I thought that was the case. And it wouldn't surprise me either. You know, and then they wonder why people wouldn't give them up, you know. Fucking lot of money. You know, my collection here has been pretty much been rendered um, worthless now. You know... All of that, pretty much worthless now. And I and I had plans that, you know, one day in the future, if I needed money, I could, I could sell it. It's all fucking worthless now. I mean, Pete said, I have a DAC AKM. I had a guy from Pakistan. <laughs> if, you, if you get him a gun, what a fool, yeah. It's just bollocks. Weapon and stuff like that, yeah, the Australian... Gun buyback failed for that reason. You can find them hidden all over the place, apparently. Only about one third of a year's worth guns were handed in. Jumble Sabu said, yeah, apparently many pistols are apparently stolen stolen or handed. Yeah, so we've just had a thing near us. Not far from me, just down the road around the corner. Someone's just been arrested for... Um, I don't know what's going on yet, but someone in some woods was found with a firearm. I don't know what it is yet. I, I suspected it might have just been um, someone with an air rifle or something, but they've been, like, cordoned off the whole area. And, but I don't know. I don't think they do that for just an air rifle. Jacob Taylor said, weapons and stuff, I've seen things like that in America. People will make guns out of bits of pipe and nails. and Yeah. Not difficult to do. We won't go into that too much, just because, um, you know. We'll stay off the um, making of things you shouldn't make, if you know what I mean. Who's ever seen this film? Jumble Sabu, to be honest, like when I had my shotgun license, you never really own a firearm. Women stuff like that, yeah. Our firearm laws are very dodgy. Lots of things the law classifies as firearms that are in no way, shape or form firearms. Yeah. If you like, uh, that Sam Raimi film, that is, if you've never seen it. I love it, personally. Really, really funny. Quite bizarre. A bit sort of slapsticky. Boom, <clears throat> sir, there are a few YouTube sounds like it. Yeah. Let's not talk about making things like that, just because it's not a good subject to be talking about. Made in Britain is a great film. Yeah, funny thing is, I was showing my um, brother some, <laughs> some clips of that. <coughs> you know the bit when they're smashing the windows? That bit. Because I find that's a really funny bit, that is. I find it hilarious. And Pete said, yeah, pepper spray is class of firearm. But that's always a weird thing. Weapons off the Evil Dead Spider-Man trilogy, Dark Man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is nothing like any of the... Sam Raimi things you've ever seen, though. Well, uh, it's got the same sort of slapstick kind of as Evil Dead kind of um, comedy. But I would, I love this. It's hilarious. And there's some really good, like, unusual bits. Like, there's a there's a, a fight on top of two cars. 
going along the motorway. And he's got to fight this great big bloke on top of the um top of two cars going along the motorway. It's very funny. Rocket said, did he do Evil Dead? Yes. Uh, Weapons Officer, do you mean Made in England? I think, what one is it? Is it Made in Britain or Made in England? Whichever one's got Tim Roth in anyway. Is it Tim Roth? And then Pete said, this is, yeah, this is England. is bad but funny. I quite like that. It's, um, I prefer the older ones, the older ones from the time, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this is England's all right. Seems like it's weird that those videos don't get taken down, but air gun channels do. Yeah, I think when you looked into that, that was, for some reason, that was people targeting air guns things, not realising that that was probably like the, the least offensive thing going. Doom Slayer, no, I read that. I've not watched In Bruges yet, but I'm gonna. It was, it made in England or made in Britain? It made in Britain, isn't it? Yeah, made in Britain. Yeah, and this is England. Yeah, um, yeah, made in Britain is like Tim, one of Tim Roth's first film. He's like seventeen in it. Yeah, it's a good, interesting film. He's um, wayward, skinhead teenager going a bit mental. It's good. He's got you know, I don't know. It's, it's interesting to watch. Jacob Tyler, This is England is my favourite film. I remember watching it for the first time with my granddad and wanting to dress like a little skinhead. I, I like it. It's good. I like that it's um it's almost semi autobiographical, isn't it, for Shane Meadows. It's similar things to what I think he was, that little boy. You know what I mean? Gumble Sailbro, Made in Britain, Rocket, Romper Stomp. But yeah, we were talking about Romper Stomp yesterday. I might rewatch that soon. And um, I looked up, I don't know who told me about, someone mentioned about the, the Romper Stomper new TV series. <clears throat> I may watch that. <clears throat> doesn't look quite as good because it's because it's modern, doesn't have partly what made Romper Stomper good was the era and the music. Doom Slayer, I think Made in Britain is better than This is England. I think so. Yeah, Maiden Britain's worth definitely worth watching. I've got it on DVD somewhere. It's more oh well, they're actually they're both quite realistic, aren't they? But um Yeah, Tim Roth's good in it. It's Tim Roth, isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to stuff, yeah. Everyone I've spoken to from abroad who's seen Romper Stomp, I think it's English, not Australian, as they can't tell the accents part. Oh, that's that's weird, yeah. I suppose a lot of people can't though, can they? I get asked if I'm Australian a lot because I'm always writing mate in comments. <laughs> that's like an Australian thing, isn't it, mate, mate? And yeah, nearly every single time I write a message, I always write mate, how you doing, mate? You know, good day, mate. <laughs> no, I don't really write that. <laughs> Dumble say, Dumble say, Blue said, Rumpa Stomper originally had the nunchucks cut out by the censors. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah, we would do that era and that, um, <laughs> that era. Oh, what's her name? What's the old fucking bag's name? Mary Whitehouse in it. Reference, I said, I can't tell Aussie and Kiwi accents. But no, I can't. And I, I can only tell Canadians and Americans uh, apart if they say certain words, like a boot. <laughs> Double Sail Bush says, speaking of nunchucks, I'm seriously surprised that you that these were never banned. I have a few. Yeah. I don't I don't even know what the law is on nunchucks. I don't wear mine are now. I had some. And then they disappeared. I think they must be in the loft or something. I've got a couple of homemade ones and then some bought ones. I do not know where they are now. Here's an interesting film. You ever seen this? That's something we got from the. Uh, we used to rent. I think we rented it out from the local video shop. 
chopping more. Where well, shopping can cost you an arm and a leg. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the back, but it's about these um, kids who get locked in a mall at night and the mall has had these new security bots put in place. So they've got to try and get out the mall while these robots are electrocuting them. And <laughs> Pete said, see you later. I've got something to, something to do in the bush. <laughs> Don't get caught. I just saw Red Letter Media talk about it. One of the robots shooting people. Yeah, it's it's like so bad it's good. Well, I don't know if it's that bad actually, but um, it is funny. Teenagers working at a local shopping mall, sneaking supplies, and waiting till the mall locks for an intimate party night. The mall has sophisticated robot security system that goes into attack mode after a malfunction and kills the human security guards. Now the teens must run for their lives and try to find a way out the mall using materials within the mall. And I think at one point, as far as I remember, they are uh, at a gun shop. So they're getting the gun shop. Pretty sure they do. I haven't seen it for ages. But I bought it because I can remember renting it out as a kid. Jacob Taylor, that knife that Mago sells in Romper Stomper looks really nice, except for the Warbird or Swastika on it. Yeah, the, um, is it the Hitler Youth Daggers or whatever? That is such a that's a really nice shaped knife. I think they're based on old like Roman knives because a lot of that kind of stuff is based on Romans. Well, because Romans and that was the first right one, and then you had the second right, which was World War Two, and then the third right was Hitler and that. You know what I mean? I think I'm not um, hundred percent sure on things like that. Actually, it's really Westworld, Westwood original. Oh, Westworld, yeah. I haven't seen Westworld original for ages, but I've downloaded it. I've got the series ready to watch again, and um, and what's the, what's the other ones? There was Westworld and Future World, was there? I think I got that. Doom Slayer, hit the youth knife, yeah. And then Doom Slayer, yeah, that's the one. There's a funny story from my granddad. They found loads of those knives in crates. They took dozens of them, but had to hand them in. Shame as they're worth loads there. Yeah, I bet they'd be worth a fortune. But uh, both of them knives, the dagger type one and the other one, it was almost, oh, I don't know. But, you know, it's just like a standard knife or being a single edge knife. They're both quite nice looking knives. And I think Malcolm's got a, um, a fake dagger one, you know. The, I don't know if that's to hit the youth one or, you know what I mean. There's one like a dagger and then there's one sort of similar to this bit. It's nothing like this in a way, but sort of like this, you know. Hang on. There's the one similar in sort of shape to that with the guard. A little bit of a guard coming down, isn't there? Creep Show. Yeah, that's one of my favourite films, mate. You know what? I've never managed to get that on DVD yet, though. I've got Creep Show 2, and I've got. Um, Creep Show downloaded and on VHS. I absolutely love Creep Show. I even got the Creep Show soundtrack. Absolutely love Creep Show. The majority of anything that's done by Stephen King, I've I've got loads on DVD and downloaded, and I've seen nearly every single film or TV series they've done, apart from some like the new stuff and the Dark Tower. I would never watch. Because I love the book so much. I've, I just couldn't watch that film. I'm never going to watch it. Women and stuff will repeat a question from earlier. Ever thought of making a homemade war mask? Oh, so I didn't see that today. Did, did, some, did you put that on earlier? Have you, if you wrote... Oh, do you mean another day? Um, well, I made the... Closest thing I've made to that was, you know, the one I made, the, the little one with the um, dumbbell nuts on, didn't I? Um, but, yeah, the, the sort of fluted one, the only thing that stops me doing it is I can't weld. But I have made, like, a spiked mace type of thing. Or do you mean on the... Ch on, oh... 
What do you mean? One with a chain on? Oh, I must have missed that, Liam. Um, I have made a mace on a chain before, but it's making the end, and it was a tube of metal with nails sticking out of it. But yeah, I never made like a, a fluted one, if you know what I mean, but I wouldn't mind doing that. Number Sabu, House and Haunted Hill there, that's good. Dust Till Dawn, yeah, like that. And American Wolfland, yeah, I like all of them. They're all really good films. But yeah, um, I'll have to do some more of them then, Liam. I'll have a, I'll look into doing some more. I'm always thinking about it because I'm always trying to think how to make a really heavy metal end easily with the spikes because it's hard to do. You end up having to do something either square or, um, Try to find something round because it's because I've got to do it without welding, you see. Or I don't want to, I don't fancy drilling all day through. I think I'll come up with something eventually, though. Weapons, I suppose you could do a warhammer a bit easier than a mace. I, I do want to do a warhammer as well. I was, I was probably going to get some kind of um, small pickaxe, tamed that into one. To have a spike on one end and then the, the head on the other, cut the grooves into it, you know. Let's say Zulu, tennis ball, lead, nails, chain. Yeah, that's a good idea. Matt Bricks, what's your favourite car maker? <sighs> never really been into cars. I've I've got a driving license, but I've never driven since I got it. But I like Jaguars and I quite like the old style Ford Mustangs. But yeah, Jaguar probably. Rocket, Day of the Dead is good too. Yeah, I've got all of the Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Deads, the remakes, the originals. I'm quite a zombie fan. Um, yeah, up there, one half Stephen King stuff, one half zombie films. Dream Slayer. Could, but the biggest heavy padlock you can find at the end of it. Yeah. It was all about, I've got ideas, but it was about, especially for the chain flail, chain mace, whatever, it was for, trying to find an idea for a good, solid end that when you hit something wouldn't break. <laughs> Weapon stuff there, like, like driving in my car. It's not quite a Jaguar. Yeah, got to love madness. I've got every single thing madness has done, apart from some of the new stuff. Here, hundreds. Love Ford Capri. Yeah, the Ford Capri's a nice shaped car. I do like that. But I'm not really into my cars. Uh, into cars. Um, I know some people who are. My uh, sister's fiance, absolutely, he's proper car mad. You know, to the stage where he's buying all stuff to put on it and, you know, souped up Ford Escort he had. That bricks. I like the Ford Fusion. I don't know what that is. I know it's a car, obviously, but I wouldn't be a... Oh, is that what it is from Madden? Oh, no, yeah. All right, Jumbo Boo. What is your favourite post-apocalyptic movie, mate? A boy and his dog is pretty good. You know what? I don't think I've seen that. Off the top of my head, not sure. Ah, oh, see, it's weird. I would have to have a look at them all and think. I like the road. The road was proper good. Have you ever seen the Rover? That's quite good. Um, as soon as I, as soon as someone asked me a question, like that, the stand, definitely the stand. <laughs> Try to think of them. Open after I love the Mad Max Ford Falcon. Yeah, I like that. And I'll tell you the other car I really like. I don't know what it is though. Is it, uh, what's that Quentin Tarantino grind house from Death Proof, is it? No Stuntman Mike's car, that car, but I don't know what it is. Well, I'd actually like to own one of them and have a Knuckle Duster decal on it somewhere. Probably a Knuckle Duster uh, gear knob and um, Knuckle Duster hood ornament. That's sort of the fancy car, you know what I mean? Rocket said, do you like Walking Dead? I've never seen it yet. I left it too long, but I'm definitely going to watch it one day, so no spoilers. Doom Slayer. 
I would love to fit a car with a Mad Max bomb for anyone who steals it. Yeah. Other than the stuff, I wish there was more viral apocalypse movies rather than just zombie movies. Yeah, the problem with the zombie ones, they're good, they're entertaining, but not realistic. You know, what I mean? you know I'll just do one where it never says what happened, because I quite like ones like that. I think The Road, it never explains, does it? Has any, who's seen The Rover? Have you seen The Rover? Other than the stuff, you can make body work like this. Tom Sadler, Stuntman Mike's Guy, it's customised Robin Reliant. <laughs> Sounds like one. He's driving it. Sounds like my dad's old lorry where it's shaking. Just going for a piss. Yeah, tell you why I like Jaguars. My dad's always had Jags. Weapon of yeah, sad ending to the Rover. Yeah. It's a good film, isn't it, though? I, I quite like that. And I quite like, um, what's his name? Guy, Guy Pierce, is that his name? I can't bloody remember now. Alex says, do you have any antique, obsolete caliber firearms? I've got a old 28 bore flintlock pistol. No, I ain't got any of them. I was going to buy one once, because that range, not range, right? Yeah, no, Worldwide Arms Limited had a really nice one, and it was strangely quite modern looking. But obviously, it was older deals for it to be obsolete caliber. But no, it was too dear. Lap bricks, what is the display? Words behind you, that's pretty neat. It says stuff like... That's saying YouTube, it says featured on YouTube blogger Twitter, and then it'll say uh, Weapon Collector Supporters, and if you're a supporter of mine on Patreon, your name is on here. So now it says Weapon Collector Presents WC Supporters, and then you'll see the names like Weapons of Stuff Night 3, there he is, Weapons of Stuff Night 3. Electro, these are all people who support me on Patreon. Weapon Survival Nightfall, he won his way into getting his name on here. Mark Paris, yeah. And then it says, um, don't forget to support me on Patreon, stuff like that. Just a bit of adv bit of advertisement for myself, you know. Oh, bro, Wormwood Australia zombie flick, but cheesy. That's the kind of ones I like. I nearly watched that on the Horror Channel or Film 4 recently, but I missed it. I'm going to watch that, though. Jacob Taylor, Del Boy's van is really just for sake of not really to drive it, just like talking point. Yeah, exactly. Dear Andred, what's the legality on pantographic or paratrooper knives? I'm not sure, mate, but I thought that was perfectly legal, and I'm sure when I mentioned it, someone else said to me uh, that they are... All right. Yeah, under an other class as lock knife. Oh, if you was going to carry it, it'd be a lock knife, definitely, yeah. Jack Strike, I have a CD box set of the original Survivor series from 1975, and I saw the original airing. I'll have to look that up. Um, but I don't think I've seen it. But yeah, I don't know if he was on Jack, but yeah, they was telling me about that yesterday, about Survivors. I'll have a quick look, quickly. I'll have to look that probably another later. <clears throat> Twelve Monkeys, yeah, I like that. I've, and I was going to try and get... There's a TV series of that, isn't there? I'm going to watch that soon, because that's... Um, one of my favourite genres is... I like time travel stuff. I absolutely love time travel films. Because you can get really clever in them, and really, like, shocking, and... You know, twists and all that. 
Yeah, the Survivors one, I don't... I may, have, I may have seen bits of it, if it's quite old. But I definitely haven't seen that remake one of it. But I'll, I'll, I'll have a look for that. Weapon of Suffer. Romero's The Crazies I really like. Not quite a zombie movie, but guys running around in NBC suits and... MK5 mask they converted with M1 carbons. This is a weird thing, right, Liam? I've actually, I've actually got that, and I've never watched it. It'd be up there somewhere. Yeah, I own the original Crazies, and I've never watched it. I've got a couple of, basically, I've got a couple of films I've just never watched for some reason. Dumbledore said, Boo, have you ever read Z for Zachariah or watched the 1980 TV series? No, I've not, mate. I'll write that down, though. I'll have to get my notepad out in a minute. Day of the Triffids was good. I have the original episode. Yeah, I've never seen that either. Well, saying, I have seen bits of Day of the Triffids when it was on, I think, or they might, if they repeated it later. But um, never seen it properly. Sometimes I don't class me watching something unless I've watched it as a sober adult. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've watched quite a few things when I was either a kid or drunk, and I don't count it because I can't remember it. You know, X-Ray Zero, both Survivors and 12 Monkeys, very relevant considering recent, recent chemical attacks, chemical warfare tricks. In my opinion, that's what's likely to cause breakdowns. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to get my um, notepad and find it. I don't know where I put it last time. If I don't write stuff down, it's guaranteed I definitely won't remember. <coughs> what was the one that uh, Number Sabu said? But uh, this time I'll try and watch some of them. I was, I was going to watch some today, but I had too much to do. And then because this crept up on me, yeah, I would have watched it now sort of thing, you know. But I'll, I'm not going to stream anything tomorrow. I'm probably going to make my days for streaming Fridays and Saturdays now. And then I can watch like Liam's and Malcolm's on a Sunday. Next to Sulu said 12 monkeys. Yeah, yeah. I see Dawn of the Dead as a zombie swivel guard. Yeah, I do like... I really like the original Dawn of the Dead. The remake's okay. The problem is a lot of modern films, they put too many... In the old days, you liked most of the characters, and there may be one you didn't like. Nowadays, they just have loads of dickheads. And I hate that. I used to like watching films where I wanted everyone to live, not watching films where I want them to die. They think that's what you want, but I don't like that. Jacob Taylor, have you ever made a prison shank thing out of a toothbrush or something similar? I've made a a shank out of a square piece of tubing so that if you used it, it would cut a square out of them. That's on my channel. Yeah, the 70s one, Doomsday, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love the original Dawn of the Dead. Dumbledore, Abu, the remake of Day of the Triffids ain't as good as the original 80s series, mate. There's a film. There was a film in the 60s with Peter Cushing. All right. Actually, as you do in the 50s, it was all about space and aliens when nuclear war, now zombies. Some say it's conditioning. Could be. Could be. Got to be like us, though. Not, not sheeple. Do you know what I mean? I've never seen the Peter Cushing film. Do you mean the Hard Kill film? The Rocket, yeah, the original was the best. Yeah. Oh, I love the original Dawn of the Dead. Great. If that's what we're on about. <laughs> yeah, up there, I've got a thing of DVDs. Half of it is full of Stephen King stuff. And the other half is all zombie films. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what I've got up there. I've got... 
Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, The Army of Darkness, Night of the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead Remake, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead Remake, Land of the Dead, Return of the Living Dead, Return of the Living Dead Part 3, Dawn of the Dead, Resident Evil, Second Resident Evil Film, Zombie Flesh Eaters, 28 Days Later, Hellraiser, Revenge of Billy the Kid, Undead, Bad Taste and Brain Dead. A couple of the end ones aren't um, zombie films. Yeah, Clockwork Orange, I love that. Shivers, I've got that as well, but I've only ever watched that once. The ground pegs from IPKs make seriously good weapons and even large punch wounds. Yeah, you know, I'll have to watch that again. I have got that. That's a Cronenberg film, isn't it? I've watched that again recently as I bought a Kubrick box set. Oh, Clockwork Orange, yeah. I really like Clockwork Orange. That's a good film, that. I was watching that thing last night on telly about um shower scene, is it called, from um, Psycho, Average Hitchcock. I didn't watch it all, but I was saying to my brother, Psycho, that still stands up today as a good film, I think. You know, it's old, but I don't think it's dated. It's still a good film. But yeah, Kubrick makes some really good stuff. Obviously, The Shining. When I said my dad forced me to watch it when I was about nine. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, I really like it. What's crapping? Have you seen Dead Man's Shoes? Yes, one of my favourite films that is, mate. I absolutely love that. Black Bricks, you should put your videos under education so they're not blocked in school and I can watch it there. <laughs> yeah, I think mine are... I changed my category recently to entertainment. X Ray Zulu, Kubrick did what he... what we saw in the moon landing. Yeah, that's what they say, don't they? It's Kubrick. Other than stuff, Hitchcock made genuine tension, not jump scare crap. Yeah. I think Hitchcock made some proper amazing films. That's when you look back. Rocket, my dad made me watch Faces of Death. Well, fuck's sake. I've got an odd VHS of that somewhere. Jacob Taylor, have you ever watched Scum with young Ray Winston in it? Yeah, I got that under here. I was going to get that out, but I thought everyone would have seen it. Do you know what I mean? And the brutal ending, totally different to the way my mate explained it to me. Said that Ray breaks out in the end, which never happens. <laughs> That's so. But yeah, that is a good film. If you like Scum, you'd like Made in Britain. Doom say Anthony Burgess' Clockwork Orange book has a lot more of the old ultra violence. Oh, I've never read that. Malkaz. Alex says, what do you think of eventually ban of all weapons channels from YouTube? I don't know if they... They might do. I'm going to carry on until they do, though. You know, if they do. And then I'll just go somewhere else. You know what I mean? I'll never stop. Other than stuff, really good indie film I saw recently was The Kill List. Yeah, I like that. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, and you're right. It was a lot like True Detective. I've not seen True Detective. And the Wicker Man, but yeah, I definitely get the Wicker Man sort of reference. Bush crappy and scum is good. But I, I, one of my favourite actors is um, Neil Maskell. I like Neil Maskell. <laughs> Weapon stuff like three. Yeah, and Clockwork Orange book is great as well. Yeah, I've never read it. I've got it though. But when Mark read it, he gave me a copy. Jack Striker, Fred's. Yeah, I've I've seen that and I've got it downloaded. The 1984 film shit us up as teenagers when they first showed it. We really believed back then it would be nuclear war. Uh, Liam, have you seen Fred's? If you haven't, I think I, I think you have though, haven't you? I'm pretty sure you have seen that, haven't you? But um, if you haven't, I recommend that. I think that's on YouTube. <laughs> Rocket, the book is way better than the movie. They always are though, aren't they? I compared, I watched Made in Britain. Someone put the whole thing on YouTube. Ah, oh, nice. Thomas Albert, the TV version of Scum was more violent. Yeah, because it was like a um, it was a TV thing first, wasn't it? Um, yeah, <clears throat> I can't remember. There was a name for them kind of things, wasn't there? Most crap, and I love Fred's. Yeah, 
very close to Sheffield. I watched it about six years ago after my ex said she was going to ring her mum and ask what it was like. <laughs> oh, what when it happened? <laughs> now, weapons and stuff said really well, really well. Become tool collector if they do. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do. I would just turn it. I would make, I'd replace everything I could of tools. That bit, Fred's is great. Liam talked about it in the video. I thought he had. And I thought if anyone would have seen it, he would have. But I just thought I'd say. You know what I mean? I had a feeling you had. When stuff, yeah, I've seen Fred's the day after. I don't think I've seen the day after and all the similar films. My war emergency guide book backs up everything that was in Fred's. Government would not be your friends after the bomb. Have you ever seen uh, When the Wind Blows? I like that. That's good. Yeah, I, I suspected you definitely had seen Fred's, but then I questioned it in my head and thought, is that him or is it someone else? The old time's flown by again. It always does. And you do these. I'll probably go to about, well, at 11 o'clock, I'm probably going to have to check, see when people go to bed. If they're up late, I'll stay until about half 11. Don't think it's stopping me because I make a lot of noise when you do these. Dumble Sour Boo, yeah, When the Wind Blows from 1986 animated film, pretty hard. Yeah, I like it. Good film, isn't it? Yeah, Raymond Briggs book film. There's another good thing called Special Bulletin, found footage type thing, like a nuclear test app. Yeah, never seen that or even heard of it. Bush crapping. There's government nuclear bunker near, but it's for computers, not people. <laughs> well, we had a massive one, near, like a proper, um, well, I said massive. Pop. We had a nuclear bunker near us because there was an RF base near us, but that's all been built over now and um it had been empty for years i've seen videos of people on youtube going in there paul brewer is that the one with the snowman in yeah except he's like a uh, nuclear fallout dust man in this one fungus the bogey man never seen that exo zulu holy lock very very odd place holly lock yeah yeah, I've never holy lock, holy lock. I've never. That the place Bush crapping on about. Yeah, we had one near us, like five minute drive away. It's that, but it's gone now. War Games from the 1560s was good. Fred's was the remake of it. All ah, right. I have heard of them both. Obviously, I've watched Fred's, but um, yeah, I have heard of War Games, but never seen it. They could tell you I was really into the post apocalyptic stuff until I realised that there would be thousands of rats because of all the dead lying around, along with a lot of diseases. Yeah. Well, I often fant this sounds weird, I often fantasise about making Fallout Shelter and how I would do it. I like to plan things in my head, and if it ever came down to doing it, I'd already have all the ideas ready, sort of thing. You know what I mean? But if I had the area, it's not that I think it's going to happen, but I'd like to make a Fallout Shelter anyway. I think it'd be an interesting thing to do and try. Jack Striker, the guy who starred in Fred's, was in Home to Roost comedy series of the 80s with John Four, but you are probably too young to remember that. No, I remember it. Well, I know about it, but I haven't seen it. And he's also in ID, isn't he? What's his name? Reese Dinsdale, is it? Is that his name? Black Bricks, have you ever been robbed, threatened in the street? I've never been robbed. I've been I've been in situations where people have had knives, you know what I mean? Like, held, you know, in their hands in the street, yeah. But, um... That was more of in a fight sort of thing. You know what I mean? Bush grappling. I want to go on that hunted program. Yeah, that would be good. Especially when you watch it. Some of the shit they do on there, it's idiotic. Makes you wonder how they, you know, don't get caught straight away. That'd be a very interesting thing to do. 
See, yeah, Andrew, I can't remember the name of the film. It was a cheap 80s one of a Marine who takes a gang of kids off the street to discipline and train them to rebuild their community. Never seen that. Here's an interesting thing. I'd like to know if anyone's ever seen the film Twice Under. I don't know anyone who's seen it. It's about, I don't know if it's Australian or American. It's about this bloke who has to go down into the, the sewers of their city to find this bloke who killed his dad, I think. Some of it involves walking around with the old night vision on. Twice Under, that's called. Actually, Julia, imagine how many World War II bunkers still out there full of kit. Yeah. Rocket, Last Man on Earth is a good film. I've not seen that, I don't think. I'm so I watched Theatre Box, Drama Rama, Death Angels as a kid. Never heard of any of them, I don't think. Got Young Ray Winston in it, along with Bill Maynard. It's on YouTube if you want to watch it. But I'll write them down. Liam said, Matheson wrote the screenplay for Last Man on Earth, as well except the ending, closest version to the book. All right. And Rockets had never read the book. So what? Theatre books. Yeah. I will actually start watching some of these soon. Weapon stuff, very good, but the Amiga Man is my favourite version. Not like the book, but very campy and fun. Yeah, I'll probably watch some of them soon as well. We we spoke about them a bit, didn't we, I think. Um, yeah, the only one I've seen is the uh, I Am Legend, I think. You know, out of all of them. Original zombie book film as well. All uh, right. Yeah, because I suppose most people would think it's, uh, well, George Romero's Night of Living Dead is the the beginning of the traditional zombie, and it, sort of thing, you know. But even before then, there was, like, the, um, what do you call it, voodoo-type zombies, weren't there? Rumsay Abu, as a masked wrestler, his kids sneaked into a venue, and the rumour... Once if you saw his face, you would die. Ends up he has a deformed face called Death Angel. All right. Yeah, never heard of that. Well, there's a fun fact. Well, fun fact, in The Last Man on Earth, there are all the scenes where they swarm the house. Romero copied it shot for shot in places and admitted to it. All right. I'll have to watch that then. Nice to know some people ain't gone to the pub tonight. <laughs> Jacob Taylor, did you watch Peaky Blinders when it was on, mate? No, that's something I would watch. I had a habit where I wasn't watching anything on the telly at all. All I was watching was films. But uh, there's loads of stuff that I will watch eventually. I'm watching... Uh, the only things I'm watching on the telly at the minute are uh, not on the telly. But TV series, watching Ash vs. Evil Dead, This Country, who likes that? This Country, BBC Three, that's good. But I fucking love This Country, it's great. Weapon stuff, too expensive, nearly £5 a pint near me. Yeah, it's getting like that here now. Last time I went drinking, I had to ask for my own special cocktail. It kept making me laugh, and the barmaid. It started calling it a Michael Special in the end. And it was a shot of vodka in a glass and then distilled the rest of the tap water. £2.50. <laughs> but that's just one unit. If you add it up to what a pint is two units, that's still £5 a pint. You know what I mean? It's not that cheaper. Jack Stryker, about four episodes of the second series of Survival was filmed less than a mile away from my ass. Oh, nice. I'll check that out. I've... We were talking about that yesterday, maybe the day before. So, and I may have seen bits of it, because I can remember something similar, what sounds like that from years ago. Dumble Sabu, £3 a bottle of Newcastle Brown, where I am at the moment. Oh, bloody hell. Terrible round here. 
not too bad if you buy booze from the shop, but pints. And where I go is one of the cheaper places around here. Getting to be like four pounds something now. Stuff. I only really like the first series of Survivors, if I remember right, not much happened in the last two series. Rocket said, Tenant Super, £2.20 a can. Yeah, that's taking the piss. I can't. I remember when a can of Tenant Super was a pound. And it was weird, because a can of Tenant Super was a pound, and a can of normal Fosters was a pound. Now, a can of Fosters is a quid, and a can of Tenant Super is £2.20. I think it's £2.50 round here. Alex S. The house got raided near me recently and they found a Glock 37 in the sawn off. Very dodgy house, though. Bars would pull up and put packages under the bonnet. <laughs> yeah, well, they have probably been monitored then. You know what I mean? My area ain't too bad for stuff like that. What's everyone doing tomorrow? I've got to cook the Sunday dinner. I fucking hate doing that, look. Got to have chicken, I reckon. <laughs> what happens, love? Yeah, I mostly buy cans from the supermarket. I have spirits. Don't drink at all frequently, as a lot of my friends no longer live nearby, so nobody bothers going out. Yeah, weird thing is, no one around here. There was a time when I was drinking every single week. <clears throat> But even if I wanted to drink every week, there'd be no one to drink with now. You know, it's just gone that way that um, <clears throat> no one's out. I prefer it that way after time anyway. As I've mentioned lots of times, if I drink, I can't stop. So I've either got to not drink at all or know that when I do drink, I'm not going to stop, you know, till I can't drink. Well, I've probably filmed some more videos Cut my hair off, maybe do some stream at some point. Yeah, if you do a stream tomorrow, I'll definitely watch it. Rocket, okay, and I'm a slaughter man. I always have a nice Sunday dinner. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we've got chicken tomorrow. I've got to cook it. Don't know what vegetables I do. Roast potatoes, carrots. But yeah, I have to cook it after time. I don't mind, but... I talked to my mother on Sundays. Couldn't know she's been dead five years. You tried that joke on Max. <laughs> so tried to um, re redact it, didn't you? Because of Rinny. <laughs> you got the right audience on this one. We'll be able to find that funny. Jacob Taylor said, Where I live, we just had a big drug smuggling ring busted. Bring kilos of gear up. Yeah, don't get a lot of that round. Look, my my village. I live in a village. Um, in the outskirts of a town, you know, or right next to a town. In the town, you do. The town where I live is a fucking a bit shit up. Bristol, the cost of beer and coffee is like paying tourist prices. <laughs> I've never ever bought coffee at like a Costa or anything. I just have plain old black coffee. Well, even if I did, well, I have occasionally, but like. I've just had the use for like a black coffee, so I've never done it regularly. Robin and stuff said, we've got a lot of crime in Oxford City Centre. My area is all right, as it's a bit more rural. Yeah, that's sort of how I sort of am. We've got a town, the main town, but our village is sort of on the outskirts. You know, none of that really going on. <laughs> Dre Zulu said, lol. Yeah, you picked the right audience for this one. Don't You didn't want to do it on Mouse one because of Rinian. <laughs> Rinny don't get the jokes half the time anyway. So. I don't know if Rinny's watching. <laughs> Gent commented. Doom Slayer hate drug dealers poisoning in our youth. They should be punished. Yeah, definitely. Dumb Slayer Boo. What about Trammers movies, mate? Love the stereotypical gun nut character in it. Oh, he's great. And I'll admit, part of us putting our guns up was probably due to Trammers. Because that's probably the first place I ever saw someone with a gun display like that. So, yeah, you could say Tremors probably did influence my original gun war. I thought that player said, holy shit, you're still on. Yeah. I'll tell you, if I could, I'd probably end up going for four hours. I, I wouldn't be able to. I'd probably go three, though, again. 
It flies by though. It don't feel like we've been on for two and a half hours to me. Actually, Zulu Doom. Don't forget Britain fought wars for opiates. But Brit, do you like auto racing? Never really been into any sort of car stuff, watching cars race or anything. Never been interested in it. Weapons stuff, Opium Wars was Bond villain tier of crazy. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Yeah, never been into cars or anything. Purely because when I was younger, because I used to drink all the time. I started drinking. And by the time I was like 15 and a half, I was drinking every day, or every night anyway. I'd go to school sober, occasionally. Some days I'd go to school drunk, but every single night I'd get drunk by the time I was like 15 and a half. Maybe 15, maybe 14, I can't even remember. But because of that, I uh, made sure I never drove. I was and in my head, don't learn to drive, don't let someone teach you to drive because I'd probably kill myself. Well, that player said some guy was arrested for literally trying to eat a kid. <laughs> what like you know, what's doing the old zombie drugs whatever it is weapon of stuff we've got Chinese hooked on opium we've got the Chinese hooked on opium when they started to outlaw it we invaded them to force them to stay addicted to it oh, that's terrible isn't it that brook that bricks what's your favorite clothing brand to be honest I haven't got one I wear anything George of Asda George of Asda then they are Dodge of Asda. <laughs> X-ray Zulu. For painkillers, for all your limbs, for all the limbs, the small Yankee rounds take off. For painkillers, for all the limbs, the small Yankee rounds take off. I don't know if I'm reading that right. Alex says, I live in a nice area too. However, there are lots of rich drug dealers around here recently blending in. And when they came around my house last time, we were surprised because everyone knows there are, you know, every area has drug dealers, whether they're the kind that are doing it, obviously, or not. But we seem to get raided more than, you know, known fun criminals. Got a nice bit of milk, estrogen water. <laughs> Black bricks ever been in a hurricane? No. We've had some fences blown down by some of the um, UK storms. And someone mentioned an earthquake earlier, I think. Yeah, because was that today or yesterday? But we did have a little minor earthquake in England. About It was in the early 2000s. When that happened, it woke me up and my bed was shaking. And I'll never forget it. I woke up and my bed was fucking moving. And I don't believe in ghosts or anything. But just for a second. I was just trying to think, why the fuck is my bed shaking? You know what I mean? And you're just trying to think of anything. What could it be? For a second, I thought it might be hugging. <laughs> just for a second. I didn't actually realistically think it. Yeah, and that was the um, little earthquake we had. Well, that player, in your opinion, who makes better camo pattern? <clears throat> Civilian camo. Real tree, mossy oak, or military patterns. I personally think military patterns. Dead not Z, I slept through the one in the 80s. <laughs> now, one of the ones we had, it woke me up, it was shaking my bed, and I wonder what the fuck it was. Weapons off military because lots of civilian cameras don't have IR coating and are very area specific. Stay tuned, hi mate, you're on the hooks. Now, just water tonight. Just water. Dead not Z. But I was working outside during the hurricane strength wind one Christmas. Yeah, we do have some, you know, I don't know about, are they hurricanes? Don't say, but I love growing up in my mum's village. It's next to an old WW, the American air base. So loved exploring all the old military buildings abandoned in the woods as kids. And that would be really interesting. Alex asked, my sky just got blown down once, ripped some bricks out of the wall. T-800, reflect on, for the win. World War II, I, mean, I knew it, you meant. 
Yeah, I'd love to um, be near a place like that. That airbase near us got shut down, but it was too... I think they still had guards and that around it, and there was too many houses around it. I know some people used to go in there, but you would get caught quite easily. The easiest thing to do, I heard, was you'd have to have a dog with you, and then let the... You know, just go in with the dog, and then if you got caught, say that your dog ran in there. You know, at least you'd have an excuse for being in there. Right from the staff. You ever get that panic when you wake up after sleeping on your arm and the arm is totally dead and you can't quite uh, can't work out what happened? Yeah, I've never had that. Yeah, that shaking bed. Just for a second, I thought, because I just couldn't think of anything why my bed would be shaking. Yeah, and then it stopped. And then I went back to bed and then later on on the news it said we'd had a little earthquake. Have you ever been clay pigeon shooting? No, never been clay pigeon shooting, mate. All that player, way, way back in the 60s, there was a couple getting married on the day that Twister blew through and killed the groom, all the wives' family, and most of the groom's family. And the bride became a widow. <laughs> That's right. Here, yeah, Andred. Anyone ever had sleep paralysis? No, I haven't. I've had fucking sleep apnea, and that was a fucking nightmare. I used to feel like shit constantly, and then... I was, I was having loads of blood tests and they couldn't work out what it was. In the end, I worked out what it was. But yeah, never had sleep paralysis. I think someone in my family has. All that play, I've right, right away. Got play, 200, yeah, I have. It was the worst experience I've ever had. Yeah, I bet it's horrible. Doom say, yeah, flat time is my personal favourite. I was like, no, but I get a weird thing where it feels like I've been shoved off as I go through. Yeah, I get that weird um, the arm thing, or the not my arm, but I can't show you my leg. Your leg kicks itself out. And I used to get that every every single time I was just about to fall asleep, my leg. But sometimes it would feel like someone had pulled your leg, and it would scare you. But literally, like, you, like that, feel like someone's shoving you off the bed. It would feel like someone had gone up to you and pulled your arm, and it scares the crap out of you. Weapons like Freed the Stranger. Extra Jewel Reflect on very good. Tier under yet scary like tripping. And yeah, I trip in, trip up in my sleep. Yeah. I can't remember what the name for that stuff is, but I hate that. The worst time I ever had it was I couldn't quite sleep properly. So I took some of these herbal fucking sleeping things, you know, sleeping tablets. And they seemed to trigger it off. And it was happening every single time I was nearly falling asleep. Felt like someone was pulling my leg. <laughs> you know, literally pulling my leg. The Iron Man Spartan, I have made silly loads of noises. I'll just fall asleep. It wakes me up. Yeah, the snoring thing used to get me. Worn out player, wake up, can barely breathe and can't move. Feeling like someone's about to murder you, scares up. Yeah, sounds it. Yeah, and now I wasn't going to bring it up, Liam. The hag or the hat man, yeah. Uh, case case it brought it on for anyone tonight. Yeah, people have sleep, sleep paralysis, and when they wake up, there's someone, they think there's someone stood there, don't they? Or some people even get it where something sat on their chest, like a witch or a hag sat on their chest. If I get this, I'm blaming you lot. <laughs> One thing good for me, though, I never sleep on my back, I can't. Cannot sleep on my back. I just, I just can't do it. It pulls my chest. I can't sleep on my front. I can't sleep on my back. I can only sleep on my side. So as long as I'm facing the wall, if I wake up, I'll just be facing the wall anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it might have been my brother's, one of my brother's girlfriends said so she'd had that, you know, um, witch on your chest shit or stood in the corner. I think my sister said she'd woke up and <coughs> not paralysed, but could think she could see someone stood in the corner at the end of her bed. Poor bro, I can't sleep with curtains open. <laughs> 
Pull yourself together. <laughs> Dear Andrew, did I speak? Clearly in my sleep, I used to sleep recorder app. Heard myself saying many weird things. Ah, oh, that sounds well interesting. That's really weird. Weapons of I hate when you get realistic nightmares in a house or local area. Somewhere I look out a window and add someone is start staring in. Well, I'll tell you the weird dream I had last night. It was so weird I wasn't going to tell anyone. Fucking bizarre. I wake up with a hag on my chest, but I realised when I wake it's the missus. I had a dream last night, or this morning technically, that I cut the end of my penis off for some reason. Yeah, well, weird. But it didn't hurt. And I could put it back on like Lego. <laughs> that's a weird thing to admit. Yeah. That's what I that's what I had in my dream last night. Never had that before. It's so weird I wasn't gonna tell anyone. Bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe I just told you that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I am man Spartan. I have had lucid dreams uh call because you are aware. Yeah, we tried to do lucid dreaming once, me and Malcolm, but Malcolm said when he did it, it turned into a really, really horrible nightmare and he sort of couldn't get out of it. But that's an interesting thing to do, the old lucid dreaming. Nasty black centre, your wall looks like it's from the Matrix. Nice, isn't it? Good wall. Yeah, under I've had sleep paralysis but never seen the shadow man. Yeah. All that player, there's an old story around here that comes from the Indians called the Wendigo. Apparently, after someone resorts to cannibalism, they turn into one. Lots of the stories over the years. Yeah, that's I like the old Wendigo stories. I've actually read stuff about that. Nasty black sand, they cut your wee wee off. What <laughs> better keep the tip? A weird dream, though, isn't it? Yeah, I can put it back on. <laughs> Double sail boosted. Sausage for Sunday lunch by the sounds of your dream, mate. Proper weird dream, isn't it? Yeah, I can sort of put it back on, and it just it didn't hurt, and it go on like Lego. <laughs> Fucking hell! Yeah, yeah, until dawn was a good game with the Wendigo. Wendigo, I think they mentioned the Wendigo in Pet Cemetery as well, don't they? And what's that uh, thing with um? I can't remember what's called. Cannibal film. Ravenous. That's fucking decent. Fall out player, whenever I have a nightmare and only a nightmare, I can realise in a dream and wake myself up kind of weird. Yeah. Alex says, have you ever seen a ghost? I don't think I have. I was round my nan's once and saw a woman in a white Victorian dress at the corner of my eye. Get the shit out of me. Welcome to night three. There was a weird creepy story we had when I was at primary school, by the nature trail near the school, we weren't allowed. The story went that there was a wooden man in the woods called Mr. Wood who used to cut people up. It was a bit scary, but total BS, obviously. I was like, have you seen Bone Tomahawk, mate? Yeah, I'm a big fan of Kurt Russell. Yeah, I liked that Bone Tomahawk. That was, good. that was a good film, that. I didn't know what to expect from it, but I really liked that. Park it for the evening, Squire. You're right, mate. Yeah, under everybody's head of the local white lady. You ever seen The Revenant? It's an amazing true story. No, I've not seen that, but my sister's got it on DVD, and I'm going to borrow it soon. But talking about dreams, I do love having a good dream. Sometimes I'll even, when I wake up, like I'll naturally wake up after about eight hours. If I go back to sleep for a couple of hours... I'll guaranteed have really vivid dreams. I love having a good dream because some dreams are so vivid, they're like real life, you know. And I love having a good old dream, but you can't always make sure you have one. But yeah, talking about the lucid dreaming, we tried to do that, but I never, I never uh, got into it after Matt said he did it and then turned into a really horrible nightmare. Iron Man Smart and Weapon Collector. I saw the movie It Follows. I thought it was great and original. Good recommendation. Ah, oh, nice one. It's really good, isn't it? And it is really good and original. And um, not like your normal modern crap that they do a lot now. It was like an old style horror, wasn't it? Weapon of Stuff, I find paranormal stuff really interesting, even if I don't believe it at all. 
believe in ghosts though because of the weird stuff i saw at argos yeah i think even if you don't believe in it or do it it's still interesting alex says my sister saw it too it was my nan's old cottage all right i've seen antichrist double sabo yeah that's that's a weird that's Lars von Trier in it, I think. Some say goes to aliens. Aliens or um, like flashback images of people who have been sort of thing. All that by me and my family have seen crazy stuff since my grandpa died and even more after my sister a few years ago. Yeah, you know, I, I don't question people who... Because... Who, most people who say they see these things, they totally believe they did. That meant. Dear Andrew, we had one called Mad Monk because the local park was a mental hospital 200 years ago run by monks. Yeah, ours was the pedo chaddy. <laughs> Have you seen They Live? Yeah, John Carpenter. Yeah, I like that. Pocket full. I saw the white lady tonight in my garden. It was the wife, though, snowing really hard here. <laughs> it leave her out in the garden, did you? What up, player? With the lights off, turn on wherever we go under them. Then after we leave, they shut off crazy. Yeah, that must be a very weird experience to have things like that happen. And the weird thing is a lot of people reckon they don't feel scared when these things happen either. You know what I mean? My, someone I know I used to drink all the time, so I'm glad he spoke to his mum on the stairs, you know, after she died. Tier 100, ghosts and aliens are demons. Don't trust any of them. <laughs> Rocket. With a white lady around here, she's the local cracker. Judges 20 quid a hand job. 20 quid? Is that good or bad? Weapons <laughs> are. I'm not afraid the pop guys Argos pissed me off because he messed up my stop counts. Yeah, I had a nightmare. Iron Man Spark, some say ghosts are recordings that play exactly the same movements and are not aware. Yeah, that's the sort of thing I was trying to get at. Like, like uh, repeats of the past sort of thing. I can't remember how to describe it, but you know what I mean. Gumball Cell Boo, the original saying was locked shit me up. Especially the kid floating in the bedroom window, scratching on the glass. Yeah, that is good. I think I was going to re watch that soon. Doom. <laughs> So I said, lol. Talk about after my grandma died, we were talking about light bulb in the basement blowing up. We looked at me, the entire light came off the hinges. The only way it could happen was someone took it off. Yeah, it's it's fascinating and bizarre, isn't it? Alex says, before, before I saw the woman, I was very sceptical and thought paranormal stuff was bullshit. And personally, I don't think I've ever seen anything like ghosts. I've seen weird, a couple of weird things, I think. Nothing I've ever thought of the ghost, you know what I mean? Thanks as you do. Great grey aliens apparently are non friendly. They they're burn described as spirits, ghosts, thousands of years. Tier hundred. Have you smelt strange smells that aren't there? Don't think so. Rocket, have you seen Cujo? Yeah, I like Cujo, that's good. I've got a DVD of that. I can't think of the things. No, I can't. When I was not in Argos basement, we used to smell old incense and perfume very strongly. That would disappear. The thing is, I may have experienced things like that, but after I'm, my memory is so bad now from drinking, I suspect, that I have, someone has to jog my memory of things. Paul Apply, I believe in ghosts, but not those BS TV shows that fake. No, exactly. Nearly most of them is someone flicking a stone or you're not looking or, you know. Callum Peaks still up, I see. Yeah, probably only for, um, probably only for 10 minutes. I reckon I'll give it another 5, 10 minutes and I'll have to go off. I'm probably already pushing my luck. I don't want to wake people up. Yeah, just so you all know, we'll probably go off about half past. Big Trouble in Little China, classic movie. Yeah, only thing is, I, when I was, because I'd get a couple of DVDs out each um, session, I I actually had in my hand my uh, Big Trouble in Little China. I do like that. 
some people say that's a bad movie. But I don't think it's a bad movie. Like they said, it's so bad, it's good something. I reckon it's. I, I've always thought Big Time and Little Time was just a really good film. Oh, weapons off. I like the ghost adventure stuff. It's great fun. But as you say, not very realistic. Yeah. The only ones I've really what I may have seen some of that one. Uh, Most Haunted, if that's what it's called, with old Wasenna and Blue Peter. Seen quite a few of them. Problem is, it's the scary music, the tense music they put on it, and that, and you know. All that player, whenever these experiences happen, I never actually feel scared. In fact, I felt happy because I felt that it was a sign that you know they're still there in some shape or form. Yeah, that's what I mean. I heard that. Get people who say it's scary, but most people who say they've seen, like the ones you've mentioned, say that they never felt scared. Paul Brewer, we used to hear footsteps on the stairs. Yeah, never had that. Derek Cora makes me laugh, though, even though he's a fraud. Well, the thing that always got... I, I don't mind Derek Gore. I always thought it was right. The thing I thought was a really bad piss take was... A uh, piss take for him was when that bloke set him up, the, the other bloke, set Derek Gore up with a load of fake information to basically get Derek Gore fired, and then that cunt took his place. Well, that cunt's a fucking fake as well. I mean, I always thought that was a really horrible, snidey thing to do to Derek Gore. Yeah, yeah, he's faking it, because you're faking it as well. You're all fucking faking it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah, there's a snidey thing to do for that bloke to get Derek across that. And it said, who are you going to call, Ghostbusters? <laughs> Weapon the stuff. Have you seen I oh, Shit Myself parody of Derek? That was funny enough. No, I've not seen that. So yeah, under my grandma swears she saw her ghost dog. Fuck you know. Uh, can of peach. If anyone can hear me, please make a sound. <laughs> All right, play Liam. Yeah, I saw that. It was funny shit ever. Oh man, Predestination is a good time travel movie. Makes you think. Yeah, I've seen that. I really like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go off in about five minutes. I've heard someone go out of bed. All right, strange vibe. Serious question: Have you ever farted? I should punch someone. Not that I know of. <laughs> I don't think I've punched anyone for, I don't know, about 15 years. So. <laughs> yeah, 100. Get them off me, Sam. <laughs> I'll have to watch that then. What's it called? I shit myself. That does sound funny. I do say that Scouser is a total fraud. Yeah, and it just, I just thought it was disgraceful that this other bloke. He's trying to claim that Derek Akar is a fake. Well, he's a fucking fake as well. They're bad as each other, you know what I mean? You can't call out someone else for being fake when you're doing the same fucking job. <laughs> All right, pal. All right, see you, folks. I've got to make supper. Yeah, we're going to be off in about five minutes anyway, mate. So, yeah, good talking to you. I appreciate all your questions and that. See you later. And stuff, I'll do a quick check for you. Yeah, I'll check. I'll check that out if that's on there. Cause that sounds funny. Everyone been liking this and sharing it. Like, yeah, how many we had online? Twenty five at the minute. It's getting more now. I might. No, nah, I can't stay on. As I say, I might stay on for another half an hour. <laughs> Already done three hours. I would stay on. I don't think, uh, tier 100, what about Darren Brown's ear fraud? No, because he's never claimed. Dar Darren Brown has never claimed he's a magician or anything like that. No, I really like Darren Brown. No, he's all just doing clever things. He's never claimed he does magic. He never claims he... I mean... Weapons have if the link works... And you post links in chat. I don't think I don't think you can. I think the only person who can is me. Oh God, I'll approve it if it comes up, Liam. Definitely. <laughs> Rocket, you can stay on that. Uh, the thing is, I've heard someone go to bed. Uh, here's a test. I'll whisper, and if you can still hear me, I can stay on. Can you hear me if I talk like this? 
If I'm quiet, I could stay on. I probably won't though anyway, because I don't want to take the piss. Dear under round it up to an even number, lol, yeah. I would stay on all bloody night. I'd do the whole eight hours if I could. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to move my back anymore though. Dear under round up I've read that. Um Iron Man said, Are you a Mega Drive or a SNES fan? Tell you what, mate, we had both of them. And I always liked both of them as well. Both of them equally. Okay, then, so it's Derek Akora shit himself. All right, I definitely will. <laughs> I'll watch that once I finish this. You can hear me if I whisper then. I'll not whisper, but. Rob, I don't know if you do this, but whenever I'm on a live chat or talking to someone on camera, I just tend to shout a bit. James uh, Darren Brown did a good interview with Richard Dawkins. Yeah, both of them two are good. But yeah, uh, Darren Brown has never claimed to be like a magician or anything. He's just, uh, he's developed these techniques and that. And uh, but did you ever watch the seance one? That was really interesting. The seance one, there was a bit where he said, concentrate on the dead lady. She's from a big city in Britain. Now put your pen on the paper, move it around and think about where she's from. And I did this, and I went around like that, and I kept thinking, where's she from, where's she from, big city in England, big city in England, big city in England, where's she from, where's she from. And inside the scribble, I'd written London. And then he later says, yes, she is from London. She must have told you she's from London. And then at the end, he shows you that she's not dead, and there never was a ghost. So it's just old techniques, because as soon as he says a big city in London, and he's probably been mentioned, not London, in England, he's probably been mentioned in London before. You know what I mean? And it works though. And because of that, people instantly believe it's real because you've just written inside a scribble London. You know, it's really interesting. Yeah, Andrew Snes was better, but Mega Drive had better music. Oh, I like both of them. I was like, yeah, I always get louder and louder rather than adjusting for you like I should. Yeah, I hate it about it's just a habit, you do it because you know. Uh, do you own any RC stuff like quadcopters? No. There's a lot of weird stuff where your mind does stuff under the right circumstances. Yeah, exactly. It's really interesting when you look at that kind of stuff. I'm as Martin, have you ever won anything? I've won stuff on YouTube before. I won a uh, one troy ounce silver ingot from Cutlery Lover, if you know who Cutlery Lover is. Um, and I've won a few, I think I won a knife off of Scala Green once. Years ago, my blue, um, my blue Swiss Army knife, I won from Scalagrim. I, uh, I've won a few competitions. I got quite lucky. I had a little period where I was winning loads of them, but nothing like big or anything, or in in like from like uh, lottery and that. Rocket said, "Do you eat game?" I did eat game, but I've I've got to watch out what I eat. Some things at the minute. And I probably wouldn't be able, a game was on one of the things not to eat too much of. But yeah, I will eat it. I have gutted pheasants and rabbits and squirrels and skinned them, kept the skins and that at it, you know, and pigeons. And I, I like reading up on all those psychological experiments that went wrong, like the Stanford prison experiment. Yeah, that's an interesting one. So remember that and we'll talk about that next time. Callum Peach, we won a go-kart when I was little, but we sold it. We I still had it now. Like Mad Max. Would love a Mad Max car. H.O. Zulu, weapon stuff. Mancurian project. We had Stanford Prison Experiment. I've seen stuff about that. Didn't they try to, didn't they do like a, what's the other thing? It was a similar thing, wasn't there? Gumball Sale, uh, Bronson is a good movie with Tom Hardy. Yeah, I, I really like that, actually. Proper decent film, that is. Good music. Good acting. Yeah, I do rate Bronson. That's a good film. I'll keep whispering until, until the other person goes to bed. 
when I know they go to bed, I'll go off, so I'll stay off a little bit, I'll just have to talk quiet. When I was off, kids near me used to go, used to go quite to the top of the hill, go down really fast, nearly killed themselves in the traffic as it was a road, fuck's sake. Um, Rocket, what's your thoughts on David Ike? Um, I don't know what to think of him. I know he does the old Disney stuff and that. Um, I know supposedly if you meet him in person, he's supposed to be like a decent bloke and that. And you know I mean, he's supposed to be all right. You know, he's got weird thoughts and opinions, but and I don't believe any of the things he comes out with. But no, he seems all right. You know, the only thing I know recently about David Ike is I listen to Ian Lee quite a lot on his radio program and. Maybe last year he did an interview with David Ike, but he did an interview where he didn't talk about any of the stuff people normally talk about. And it was a really interesting interview. Look that up, Ian Lee, David Ike interview. <clears throat> Broken soft edge, you mean the man curing candidate? Iron Man, have you ever made a blowpipe dark weapon? No, I haven't, mate. Alan Peak, no, you can't have blowguns, lap bricks. I have to say sorry, mate. Keep up the good work. Oh, you have to go. All right. Good night, mate. See you later. I'm going to have to go soon. I'm, just, I'm pushing my luck at the minute. Yeah, I'm just the list. The Queen's a lizard, yeah. Random stuff. Other than the lizard stuff, he said a lot of sensible stuff, like the pedos in Hollywood, Savile, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Mind experiments from the Nazis. I reckon Chapman was under mind control. All right. Alex, do you believe in the Illuminati or the NWA? I've never really looked into it. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really like to say unless I've really looked into things, but at the minute, without looking into it, probably not. But the more you look into things, you can find evidence to me. But I know a lot of evidence people will show you is sort of circumstantial evidence doesn't really mean anything. You know what I mean? You know, a triangle on a on a dollar bill with an eye in it. Doesn't actually prove anything, you know what I mean? Actually, oh, he's totally wrong about lizards, but Illuminati's not far off. Yeah, like I said, I don't really know anything about it. Well, I can't really say, but... Um, yeah. I never really looked into the Illuminati in that. But, you know, it could be. Rather than stuff, do you think they killed Kubik for eyes wide shut? We still, still have never had an uncut version list. I don't know about that. What's that then, Liam? I don't, I don't know about that. You have to explain that to me. I, I must have never seen anything about that. Iron Man Spartan, do you rate cold steel knives, etc.? I would definitely buy a cold steel knife. I think can't go wrong. Down the peach, fun steam, off to bed, bye guys. Good night, mate. Yeah, we're going to have to stop soon. Doomsday, ministry, ministry stolen now is great. Kubrick film, the moon landing, yeah. Doomsday, NWA. Yeah, you know, I was wide shot was filmed five miles up the road from me. Kubrick had a heart attack just after he finished filming Eyes Wide Shot. The studio broke the contract and edited a lot of stuff out. Lots of stuff about the mansion and the elite sex parts. All right. David Irvin gave a correct account, especially in the being kicked to death. Oh, now I know the name David Irvin. I think. David Irvin, the one who... Uh, has he denied the Holocaust? Holocaust denier, possibly. Or am I completely wrong with that? I don't know. Let me tell you a bit. Eyes wide shot was filmed five miles up the road from me. Filmed, I mean. Yeah. I, I thought I'd heard um, of David Irvin, yeah. 
when we was on about it the other day, and I just can't think, and something just came to me. Full Metal Jacket is a great move. Yeah, I like that. Weapons of Yezzy's story that got in trouble for questioning World War II stuff. So, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I couldn't think yesterday. And then suddenly today, it just suddenly clicked that he got accused of being a Holocaust and I didn't even get in a lot of fucking shit for that now. I've always believed Dr. David Kelly was killed. I think so. Because when they say about, what was it, cutting one wrist and then cutting the other or summer and weird stuff that you couldn't do, like... It says uh, Irving proves our shits is alive, but Jews were killed elsewhere. Yeah, I've, I've never really looked into any of the things David Irving said, but um, yeah, I couldn't think of who he was until today, and it suddenly just clicked. Well, if you want some really scary conspiracy stuff, watched Yuri. Buzzman's videos. He was an ex-Soviet agent who explained doctrine and communist subversion. Edward Kelly definitely erased phony war, back to opiate war. That's right. Kelly was killed by the government. No question. Yeah, I think so. There's not a lot of things like that. I do believe, but the David Kelly stuff. It's just fucking. It just everything points that someone killed him and he didn't kill himself. Sort of thing, you know. T hundred genes around the world, but watch us the history. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go off in a minute, I reckon. I've done three hours ten minutes again. Just trying to beat my record from yesterday. <laughs> Jacob Taylor. I never got why there wasn't more Jew resistance like when they kept being in the ghetto. Isn't it? Yeah, but I think that happens in history. People don't like why do people sit there and wait to be shot? I mean, but they do. They get lined up and they just let someone shoot them. I think it's because in your head, I don't know, because it never happened to me. I'm pretty sure in their head they're thinking this ain't going to happen, this ain't going to happen. Because you always think you would run away or you'd attack someone. But there's so many proven things. People just sit there and wait for it to happen. You know, it's very weird. Iron Man Spartan said, how are you getting on with your plate carry? It looks cool. I've had to put it up in the loft for now, so I didn't have room. But in about a month, I'm going to get some body armor to put in it, and then I'll get it back down, and I'm going to sort it out properly then. So you should see a video of it done soon. Weapon the stuff, I like how everyone who was given evidence against ATF, FBI, of a Waco ended up dying under funny circumstances. Talk about that tomorrow. I'd like to talk about that. That's interesting. Victor Jones, for thousands of years, Jews have... Burn out here. Did I mention the movie Dead Mine yesterday? No, you didn't, mate. Explorers find World War II Japanese samurai zombies in a bunker complex and come back to life killing them. I'll look that up. I'm going to have to go now. So I hope you all like this. Liked it and liked it. <laughs> Just going to write this down quickly. So, what I'm going to do now. From now on, I'll try and make these the regular times, Fridays and Saturdays, about 8.30, every Friday, every Saturday. I still may do a random one in the week. Um, but yeah, but I'll try and definitely do the Friday, Saturday one regularly now. So I'll just read these last comments out. Uh, Robin Cook, whose death was also suspicious. Hey, Liam, your thoughts on gassing? Would it be cheaper, gas or bullets? As for the question on the Gladius, it's very good. Witness to Jack, I was suspicious. Great work, mate. Do the Cheers for joining me and Liam. And Iron Man and X-Ray and Tit Under and Alex and Jumble Sail Boo and everyone. And Jack Striker and Rocket. Appreciate you all joining in. Because without you, you know, I'd just be sat here doing nothing. So uh, I, I enjoy it and I'm glad you not enjoy it. So, uh, like I said, I'll try and do it regularly every Friday and Saturday now, unless I go out. I'll leave the Sundays for uh, Liam and Mount, because they do some Sundays. Mount, I think Mount does most um, Sundays now. So, so that we're not, because also if I'm doing it, I can't watch that. And I may still do a random weekday, daytime one every now and then. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, if, if we didn't get to talk about what 
you wanted to talk about, save it for next time. And then, uh, you know, we'll talk about it then because there's some interesting stuff coming. That's why I like doing these sort of random ones because it just changes and changes and changes into different things. It's always interesting, do you know what I mean? So I'll see you all later. I'm going to turn this off now. See you later. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, if you, if you found something interesting, we'll do it next week. See you later.